Today, we are gonna see dot what if Ramuru lead a monster. So let's circulate it once to the video. It become a heat and quiet morning in Ramuru city. After what passed off with Optogram, Ramuru knew that there had been still things to do. However, in the intervening time, he wanted to revel in the peace and quiet, especially now that he had officially end up a demon lord. Proper. Now, Ramuru, in his slime shape, turned into resting peacefully inside the daylight in his home, which changed into a small hut, even thinking about the popularity and strength he had. However, that did not depend to Ramuru, as he just desired a quiet place in which he may want to relaxation in spite of the truth that he could not sleep due to his slime fame. Deep sigh, this is what one merits after so much stress in paintings. A pleasing, relaxing, sunny day. It can be all uninteresting, but one have to enjoy the non-violent instances before things get to crazy, said Ramuru. Caution. There may be still the matter with Yuki that commenced Raphael. Ramuru's ability packed with expertise. I know that, Raphael, but I would want to have some peace of thoughts earlier than we get to that point. Idea Ramuru. Caution. I locate a piece of boredom, stated Raphael. Wow, it's got me, thought Ramuru with a bead of sweat. All proper. I admit it, as much as I like to get a few relaxation, after the whole thing it truly is took place, I am a touch bored. Maybe I may want to go see Hakuro and have him educate me a piece or take a walk around city to see if anyone wishes help. Unexpectedly, a vibrant light appeared in front of him. Startling him inside the technique earlier than the light dissipated, revealing Trainee, one of the protecting dryads of the woodland. Greetings, Lord Ramuru, said Trainee. Trainee, I wasn't awaiting your visit. To what do I owe the pride? Requested Ramuru. I'm sorry, Lord Ramuru, however, something has came about that requires your assist. Stated Trainee with a sad expression. Do not be sorry. Take it easy. What's it anyway that requires my assist? Requested Ramuru. Do you thoughts if I are available to give an explanation for? Asked Trainee. Of direction. Began Ramuru stepping aside, allowing Trainee to enter the sales space and sit down down in front of the slime. Go in advance and provide an explanation for. You. See, Lord Ramuru, as you understand, we dryads are the tree spirits of the woodland, said Trini. Yes, I understand that from the first time we met, stated Ramuru. Nicely, it seems that, being spirits, we have the capacity to communicate with other spirits, both in and out of this international, stated Trini. Out of this global, asked Ramuru with a query mark coming out of his head. What do you imply there may be an area called the spirit world? An area in which spirits can stay far from human beings and different creatures. That global not only connects to this one, but also to other worlds beyond this one. Said Trainee. Raphael, you knew about this? Asked Ramuru amazed by using the information obtained. Analysis. I did not recognize. Stated Raphael. Some other evidence that despite being the king of understanding, it would not recognize the entirety. Notion Ramuru with a bead of sweat. So, what does that spirit international ought to do with that situation you pointed out, you see? I appear to have a pal in that international that I normally visit occasionally. Once I went to peer him this morning, he appeared involved. After I requested him about it, he told me that he felt something very large and dark, become threatening his domestic international and he wasn't sure if the humans there would be capable of clear up it, said Trainee Dodd and that I suppose you thought I may want to clear up it, didn't you? Asked Ramuru Dot sure, I instructed my buddy about you, and he agreed that you could help remedy the trouble, stated Trainee with a grin dot so, that means I'd ought to go to another world to solve that trouble. On the only hand, I cannot depart the others alone after what has occurred these days, but alternatively, I cannot refuse to assist a chum of a friend. My friend's friends are my pals too. Thought Ramuru debating on what he become going to do. Very well then. I will help your buddy. Terrify. I am certain he will be happy approximately that. Stated Trainee satisfied that he agreed to help his non-secular pal. However, first I need to get things so as here as I will maximum possibly be gone for some time. Stated Ramuru. Of course. Of course. Said Trainee. Dot after that, Ramuru went bouncing off to move tell the others of the scenario. Dot quickly after, Ramuru found himself on a timber platform, and in front of him stood all the inhabitants of the city, consisting of his maximum unswerving subordinates and Voldora. Dot all right. I will be brief, women and gents. 
because of a trouble a friend of trainees is having, began Ramiro pointing to the dryad subsequent to him. I will be out of town for some time, so I anticipate you, in my absence, to protect the town and behave nicely, said Ramiro. I feel like I'm speaking to a collection of children that I am going to leave alone at home. Even though this would not be the primary time, as I needed to be away even as coaching Shizu's youngsters. Don't worry, Lord Ramuru. We can protect our beloved town. Stated Rigard. That is right. We're no longer similar to earlier then, said Benimaru. We are more potent now than before, said Hakuro. It really is right. So long as I am present, not anything will occur to you, said Voldora. You could go peacefully, stated Shuna. Lord Ramuru. Couldn't I go along with you? Requested Xian trying to go together with him. I am sorry, Xian, but this is a challenge that, in step with trainee, I have to carry out by myself. Although, of direction, Ranga will go along with me. Said Ramuru. I'm able to continually pass any place you cross. Grasp. Said Ranga wagging his tail in happiness even as Xian pouted in envy. Besides, that is all. Take care everyone. Said Ramuru receiving cheers from the target audience. Later, Ramuru and trainee have been inside the lawn of the slime house, due to the fact in step with trainee, best spirits or human beings with first-rate connection to them ought to immediately enter the spirit international. So trainee was the only one that should assist Ramuru enter their dot properly. That's all taken care of now. We can continue. Stated Ramuru dot as you assert. Lord, stated trainee before a vivid mild enveloped her, and the slime dot some seconds later, the light disappeared with the two of them blanketed dot when Ramuru opened his eyes, he was amazed by way of the environment around him, for it was not anything like what he had visible both in his home global, and the world he lives in now dot in reality. He ought to evaluate that place to at least one out of a myth fairy story. Wow, that is an excellent area, said Ramuru as he watched a chain of eel-like creatures. However, with bird-like beaks, fly via the sky. Analysis: The electricity emanating from this place surpasses that of our international, said Raphael. It's probable due to the religious energy. Even I'm able to experience that there is extra strength right here than I imagined, thought Ramuru. So, in which is your pal? Observe me. It is now not some distance from wherein we are. Stated trainee main the slime through the spirit world. They have been on foot for a couple of minutes, and in that point, Ramuru was completely centered on the scenery around him, in addition to the diverse spirits that swarmed around. They persevered, taking walks, until they came to a small hut placed in the center of a meadow. They knocked on the door and waited for a while, till a person opened the door. Ramuru becomes slightly amazed whilst he saw that the only who opened the door become a very antique man with a long beard. Ah, trainee, I see your back. The vintage guy stated. Hi there, Iroh. I came to tell you that I've brought a person who can help you with your trouble. Stated trainee spotting the antique man. It was then that Iroh observed the slime. Greetings, sir. Stated Ramuru. Ah, you need to be Ramuru Tempest. Trainee informed me plenty about you and that I must admit you appearance cuter in person, said Irodati. Thank you, began Ramuru rubbing the lower back of his head with a moderate blush. I wager your trainee's friend, proper it's right, my name is Iroh. Trainee and I generally join up whilst she comes to go to the spirit global, said Irodot I recognize. She advised me that your global turned into having troubles, and that you might want my help to fix it, said Ramuru dot of path but it'd be higher if I give an explanation for it to you internal. Began Iroh permitting the slime and dryad to go into the hut and sit down at a close by desk. Could you want a few tea you recognize I constantly like your tea, Iroh, said trainee dot well. I guess some would not be terrible, said Ramuru before transferring into human shape. Iroh positioned two cups at the table and poured tea into each. Ramuru and trainee took their cups and blew a touch earlier than proceeding to drink it. Nicely, how approximately it, Lord Ramuru, requested Iroh sitting down across from them together with his own cup of tea. It's excellent. I have never tasted tea like this earlier then, said Ramuru. Properly, it truly is because you have not met someone who brewed tea the manner I do, stated Iroh before guffawing lightly. So, what can you inform me approximately your global? If I am going there to clear up that problem, I need all the records I can get, stated Ramuru. Certain, this is comprehensible. You see, Lord Ramuru, in the international you used to stay in before you exceeded on, there are people with a unique potential called bending, a martial art method that allows the person on the way to manipulate one of the four elements, air, water, earth or hearth, said Iroh. So there are human beings with powers similar to magic. I'm wondering if they may be related. Idea Ramuru as he listened to the tale of that global. Those people are known as benders. 
however there may be most effective one who has the energy to bend all the factors. That man or woman is given the identify of avatar, stated, Iro. The avatar, requested Ramuru feeling curious about that character. The avatar is a being that has been in lifestyles for plenty millennia, via a cycle of reincarnation that occurs while it dies, stated Iro. And that I think there is a new avatar in your global, isn't always there? Asked Ramuru. It really is proper. Her name is Cora, and she and her buddies have been performing international converting feats, stated Iro.for the following few minutes. Iroh changed into telling the slime all approximately the exploits of crew avatar. First, he instructed him about the equalists and how their chief, Amon, who was secretly a bloodbender, supposed to get rid of the bender's capabilities. Then he instructed him about how Korra needed to face her uncle and a totally darkish and powerful spirit. However, after defeating them, she left open the spirit portals that connected that global with the spirit international, permitting humans and spirits to stay together. Something that impressed Ramuru, whilst he informed him about how, in doing so, she also brought again the airbenders who were nearly extinct for over a hundred years. He then instructed him approximately the Red Lotus and their plan to put off the leaders to carry freedom to the world, and although they controlled to defeat them. Cora suffered a horrible blow that precipitated her to be out of commission for three years. After the one's three years, Cora ultimately lower back. Best to have to face a pal of hers, Kuvira, who meant to conquer a metropolis with a giant robot wearing a weapon charged with religious strength. And whilst the robotic fell, Kuvira tried to apply the weapon. However, Cora stopped it, and the collision brought about the advent of a new spiritual portal. Useless to mention, Ramuru was inspired by using this. Then. He told him approximately a person who, while attacked by means of a spirit, merged with it and tried to smash the spirit global, however become stopped in time, even though he managed to escape. Ultimately, he informed her about Guan, a man who served Kuvira, and intended to hold her legacy, however Korra and her friends, together with Kuvira, managed to prevent him earlier than it become too past due. Wonderful. She virtually is a splendid individual, said Rumuru. I think so too and that you already told me approximately her, said Trainee. Yeah, I know. As far as I am concerned, she's worthy of her avatar title, said Iro. However, that leads me to invite a query. Why is my help required? From what you've said, avatar Korra is quite effective. Should not she be the only to address the problem? Requested Ramuru. It's far authentic that she is robust, however for a few cause. I sense that the approaching threat is a long way more than she will be able to cope with, said Iro. What exactly is that threat? What is it that she goes to stand? Requested Ramuru. I do not know exactly. All I recognize is that the spirits are very uneasy and involved, and that hasn't passed off considering the fact that Vachu stated Iro. Please, Lord Ramuru, I wouldn't have delivered you right here in case your assist wasn't simply wanted, stated Trainee. Ramuru folded his arms as he paused to assume for a few moments. Properly, if Avatar Korra, who's almost like a heroine on this international, is without a doubt going to want my help, who am I to refuse? Asked Ramuru with a smile. I am glad to listen that. Said Iroh with a grin. I knew you'll be given. Stated Trainee with a grin. So where am I able to locate Avatar Korra? Requested Ramuru. You'll find her in Republic City. The portal that connects that international to the town is set halfway down that facet. It's not tough to observe. Stated Iroh. I apprehend. Commenced Ramuru earlier than getting up. Thanks very much for the data, Iroh, and for the tea as well. You are welcome. Come visit me a few other time. Stated Iroh. I can. Said Ramuru earlier than strolling out of the house, leaving the vintage guy and the dryad by myself. I was proper, wasn't he? Asked Trini. Yes. I understand why you respect him. I'm certain he and Cora turns into very good buddies. Stated Iroh as he endured to drink his tea. I am the meantime, Ramuru turned into taking walks through the Spirit International till at closing. He came to a huge area of plants, in the middle of which stood a pillar of light accomplishing all of the way to the top. Whistling wow, I have never visible a portal like this before, stated Ramuru. Analysis. The energy emanating from the portal is just like that of the distance transportation spell. I endorse proceeding with caution, stated Raphael. Don't worry, I will be first class, commenced Ramuru before walking to face in front of the spirit portal. Well, new world, right here comes Ramuru Tempest. Said Ramuru before stepping ahead, crossing the portal within the manor. The second after Ramuru crossed the portal, he felt himself popping out of it, as if it changed into just a curtain, and while he reached the other aspect, he turned into shock to locate himself within the middle of a massive crater, 
protected with vines, and across the crater, there have been tall buildings and airships flying through some components of the sky. So, that is Republic Town, said Rimuru. Analysis detected numerous topics wearing magic like power, said Raphael. They have to be the benders Iro talked about. Anyway, I wager it is time to discover a chunk at the same time as I search for the Avatar, said Rimuru earlier than starting his exploration of the location. I in the meantime, in every other part of the town, the well-known crew Avatar changed into having a snack in a nearby eating place, with their sadomobile subsequent to them. As quickly, because the day started, they determined to move on a little patrol through the city like inside the days of the Equalists, however up to now. Not anything of subject had occurred. You already know. It might sound bizarre coming from me, however, I am glad nothing bad is happening, said Cora. You're proper. It's miles weird coming from you, stated Mako with a grin. Even though it's also nice that nothing is going on, sometimes it is first rate to enjoy a touch piece, said Asami. Yeah, because we all know that something will manifest later on the way to make our lives interesting or worse, stated Bolin. With the aid of the way, Asami. How's that challenge you stated you were operating on coming along? Requested Mako. It's still only in the technique of being created. Once I have the important records, I can begin on it. Stated Asami. I simply desire you don't push yourself too difficult. You know you could expect me in case you need me. Stated Cora. I recognize, and that is why I love you. Said Asami earlier than giving her female friend a kiss at the cheek. How about you, Bolin? Are you getting better at your new process? Requested Cora. Properly. I admit it took me a little while to get used to a lot paperwork and serving teas and pastries, but I think if I preserve working difficult, I'll be capable of circulate up, said Bolin. It's the spirit, said Asami. I simply desire you don't stop and discover every other job as typical, stated Mako. Howdy. I already instructed you that I am no longer fickle. This time, I plan to observe through to the end, stated Bolin. I'll believe it after I see it, said Mako earlier than the organization shared fun. To all gadgets, to all units, armed robbery at the principal bank. Suspects have fled with loot and are circling near Cabbage Corporation, said a police officer officer over the sadomobile radio. Looks like the spoil is over, commenced Cora earlier than the crew sat down in their respective seats, with Asami on the wheel and Cora at her side. I still don't recognize why you may not allow me drive. Because the last time you probably did, you nearly crashed, said Asami. It turned into most effective as soon as and you comprehend it, stated Cora. Girls, allows go away the difficulty of Cora's using for later, stated Mako. Heating the firebender, Asami began the sadomobile. Group avatar. Right here we move, exclaimed Bolin because the crew's sadomobile superior down the street. Meanwhile, Rimuru became taking walks through the streets of the city, searching round with a huge smile. This location brings lower back such a lot of reminiscences of my original world. Besides for the entire steampunk subject that changed into so popular amongst younger people. It's nearly like I've stepped returned in time, said Rimuru. Caution. Object detected drawing near at high velocity from behind, said Raphael. Stressed and curious. Rimuru grew to become his head in time to peer a automobile speeding via the streets, dashing past him. Soon after, any other automobile regarded and accelerated within the course, the previous one had gone. It changed into then, the moment that car handed through Rimuru, that he observed its passengers, as if in gradual motion. There had been men and two women, but the one that caught his interest the most turned into a dark skinned girl with brief black. Hair. The vehicle they have been in continued to boost up until it disappeared around a nook, as it chased the previous one. Raphael, have you ever observed? asked Ramuru. Evaluation. The latest woman possessed a better strength stage than anybody else, detected a spiritual presence within that girl, said Raphael. There is no doubt. She is Avatar Cora. I should not allow her out of my sight, thought Ramuru. Knowing it wasn't a good idea to attract interest to himself, he ducked into an alley and made a couple of wings shoot out of his again earlier than retreating, as he got down to observe the crew avatar vehicle quick dot from what he may want to see. Team Avatar's sadomobile became chasing every other sadomobile. MMM. Seems like a police chase. Properly, this could be an excellent possibility which will look at their competencies and character, said Rimuru. Lower back with Team Avatar. It was nonetheless in pursuit of the criminals. From the enemy sadomobile, the hatch opened, revealing a couple of human beings in kabuki mask, 
who set about launching fire, water and earth assaults, in and try to hit their pursuers, but Korra, Bolin and Mako were able to counter a number of the attacks, while Asami drove the Satomobile to keep away from the others. At this rate we might not capture up, said Asami. Bolin, assist me block their manner, said Korra. That is accomplished said Bolin. They both got up from their seats and used earthbending to create a massive stone wall within the middle of the street, which pressured the target Satomobile to turn in every other path, with the team avatar Satomobile following them. That gives me an idea. Korra, Bolin, block their course to guide them in the path we want, said Mako with a plan and thoughts. Roger that. Stated Korra. For a while for the duration of the chase, as they endured to counter the thieves' assaults, Bolin blocked their direction with walls of earth at the same time, as Korra blocked other paths with walls of fire or earth. That brought on the Satomobile to preserve moving into any other course. Not knowing that it become going the way they wanted it to go. All this become located by using Ramuru from the air. MMM. It seems like they're using the streets to close them down. Top questioning. Stated Ramuru. I in the end, the two Satomobiles were cruising down a road at excessive pace, and simply as the enemy Satomobile turned into about to shrink back now. Stated Mako. Listening to the sign, Korra used her earthbending to create a massive wall of earth. The enemy Satomobile turned into approximately to show. However, lamentably, each sides were blocked with the aid of earth partitions they positioned up earlier and ultimately. The thieves stopped the Satomobile once they noticed that they had ended up in a lifeless sea stock group. Avatar stopped their Satomobile a brief distance from every different earlier than the four were given out. Just then, Ramuru landed on the roof of a nearby building and saved his gaze on Team Avatar. I see the plan has worked. Let's see how matters work out, said Ramuru. Republic Town Police. You are under arrest, said Mako. Surrender proper now if you do not need to get hurt, said Cora. The driver's door opened and one of the thieves speedy got out. But the second he stepped at the ground, he threw a series of stalagmites directly at them, forcing them to step apart. Well, it looks as if they do not plan on giving up, said Bolin. Properly, it is their decision, stated Asami, placing on her electrified gauntlet. The thieves, who turned out to be six in wide variety, Charged in the direction of them as group avatar charged towards them as well. A thief took from his canteen's drops of water that he iced over to turn them into icicles that he threw at Asami, but she quick dodged them. He then proceeded to cowl the ground with water that ended up frozen, with the purpose of creating her stumble. But Asami took advantage of that to slide towards the thief, who covered his hands with water, to create gauntlets of ice with which he supposed to hit her, even though Asami dodged a punch earlier than kicking him in the belly that made him retreat. Earlier than he may want to react, Asami rushed over and hit him together with her electrified gauntlet, knocking him down inside the procedure. MMM. Iroh instructed me that one and all their participants changed into a non-vendor. It need to be her. You can tell she's had a number of education, now not to mention that gauntlet. This is an thrilling weapon. Stated Ramuru. Some other thief constituted of the ground stone blocks which he threw in the direction of Bolin, who countered them along with his personal stone blocks. Then the thief blanketed himself with rocks, till he became a stone golem, earlier than advancing towards him. Despite the fact that Bolin changed into a chunk surprised at the beginning, he regained his composure and, taking some small stones from his pocket, created a lava shuriken that he threw closer to the golem, which raised an arm to hit him. The lava shuriken cleanly severed the golem's arm, exposing the thief's arm, after which Bolin did the same to the opposite limbs causing the golem to fall backwards before absolutely unraveling, exposing the thief which Bolin locked in an earthen jail. Wonderful. Iroh told me about bending sub-elements like lava, but I did not photo it in that style. In truth, it reminded me of a completely famous toy from my global. What turned into it known as? Asked Ramuru. Some other thief started throwing fireballs that Mako countered together with his very own fireballs, earlier than appearing a kick into the air to release a wave of hearth that forced the thief to duck. Then, the thief put his arms collectively to launch an effective flare, that Mako managed to block along with his personal palms, and with a swing of his palms, undo the flare before charging in the direction of the thief. The thief tried to parry him with fireballs and waves of fireplace, but Mako dodged every circulate, before wrapping his fist in fireplace, and throwing a punch to the thief's chest knocking him down inside the technique. He is strong. I will admit it. If Benimaru educated him, he'd pass even further, stated Ramuru. Korra stood in the front of the final three thieves. The primary, created a water whip to try to hit her, 
but Cora used a fireplace bow to undo part of the whip. The second, one thief jumped up to launch several fireballs from his feet, but Cora dodged them earlier than erecting a wall of earth to block the final assault. The third thief took gain of this moment to make a pillar emerge underneath the avatar, which dispatched her capturing into the air, which the three thieves took advantage of to release their elemental assaults. However, Cora Speedy took movement and used airbending to stabilize herself and create a sphere of air around her that protected her from the assaults. Propelling herself with firebending, she lower back to the ground and fast created an air scooter on which she rode and quickly turned around around the thieves. She rotated a couple extra times before jumping up and launching a wind wave with a horizontal kick that knocked the thieves down. After that, Cora pulled out a pair of metal balls from a small pouch that she manipulated with metal bending to turn them into small ribbons that she threw closer to the robbers and turned them into clamps that stored their arms and legs stuck to the ground. MMM. Honestly, she is professional and exact at bending the factors. However, being skilled and robust isn't always enough if she's going to face that hazard. Iroh instructed me approximately. Commenced Rimuru earlier than attending to thinking. I suppose I have an idea, said Rimuru with a grin. Ha. That turned into a sucker, stated Boland. Well, after everything we've confronted, it might make feel that a few one third fee thieves could be not anything, stated Asami. Now all this is left is to warn Chief Bifong and have her and her guys address them, said Mako. Cora became about to say something while she all at once iced over, as though she felt something coming near and grew to become to observe the earthen wall they had placed inside the center of the street, to forestall the thieves. Cora, are you okay? Requested Asami noticing her girlfriend's expression. Some things coming, stated Cora. Before anyone could ask, multiple cracks had been heard, and anyone turned their gaze to the wall, that become beginning to crack, till it exploded into thousands of pieces, leaving a smokescreen in the process. Quickly after, the sound of slow clapping reached their ears, and they all looked ahead to see past the slowly melting smokescreen, a young searching individual with blue hair and a mask masking his face. Bravo. Team Avatar, you positioned up a good combat. I congratulate you. Specifically you, Avatar Korra. You impressed me, stated Ramuru. Who are you? Asked Korra staying careful, as she ought to experience that this individual wasn't ordinary. Are you with them? Requested Asami relating to the thieves. No, I'd by no means be with men like them, stated Ramuru. So, are you an ally? Requested Bolan. Daughter enemy. Requested Mako staying cautious as properly. MMM. Accurate question. Inform me, Avatar Korra, if I have been virtually an enemy, what would you do? Requested Rimuru before freeing a number of his power. Making the surrounding sense heavy. Crew Avatar became in total surprise, as they felt the big electricity this man or woman changed into giving off. W what is this feeling? Asked Bolan. How does he have so much electricity? Asked Mako. I sense like I'm going to faint. Notion Asami. Of they all Korra changed into the most stunned as she hadn't felt this an awful lot strength on the grounds that an Avadu, the darkish avatar dot her first idea, become to run away, but she felt that if she did, that character might chase her or harm a variety of humans, amongst them, her buddies and her female friend dot with firm remedy. She showed a critical expression and took a breakthrough, tons to Ramuru's marvel, though it could not be visible with the mask dot thrilling. A regular human couldn't even take a step inside the face of such stress. In truth, I'm glad they failed too as a minimum feint. Concept Ramuru dot I'd fight you. I don't care how powerful you are. I'd combat you even though it value me my existence. Declared Korra with determination and seriousness. Korra exclaimed Asami concerned about her female friend. Dot virtually, despite the strength gain, you'll combat me? Requested Ramuru. Dot if it's to guard the ones I care approximately, I'm able to. Stated Korra in all seriousness. Dot Avatar Korra, you've got past the test. Said Ramuru immediately stopping freeing energy. Dot useless to mention. That left the team avatar participants absolutely stunned and stressed. A? Asked the four of them in unison. He, I am sorry about earlier. I simply wanted to make certain of one component. Stated Ramuru. Wait, changed into that before just a little test? Asked Mako in wonder. Well, it wasn't humorous. I nearly fainted. Stated Bolin. Why did you do this? Requested Asami. Provide an explanation for yourself. Now, demanded Korra. Relax. Relax. I apprehend your anger and that I make an apology for it. As for why I did it, nicely began Ramuru before removing his masks to show his face to the one's gift. My name is Ramuru Tempest, and I used to be dispatched that will help you, Avatar Korra. What? 
Who sent you? asked Cora. Dot. Let's assume it is a person who's excellent at making tea, said Ramuru via manner of a hint. Dot. That made Cora's eyes widen and marvel, for there has been most effective one character she knew with that description. Dot. Are you? Are you talking about Iroh? requested Cora. Dot. Wait. You suggest the extremely good Iroh, the Dragon of the West, the uncle of Lord Zuko, and who helped Avatar Ong cease the 100 to 12 months conflict? requested Bolin. Dot. Sure, it's the one, stated Ramuru, as Iroh also instructed Cora. Approximately some matters about the preceding Avatar. Dot. However, that does not provide an explanation for why you did what you probably did before, said Mako. Dot. Properly. I used to be looking your combat and that I apprehend which you all are skilled and robust, but I wanted to know what you'll do, if you had been inside the presence of someone absolutely sturdy, and also you accredited as quickly as Korra declared that she could fight me regardless, said Ramuru. Korra, have been you without a doubt making plans to sacrifice yourself like that? asked Asami. I, had to, I would not stand for you or everybody else to get hurt, stated Korra. It truly is very noble of you, and that I liked it, but I might have fought you had it came about, stated Asami. And so might we, said Mako. Sure, group avatar sticks together even in the face of the finest dangers, said Bolin with a grin. I see you're now not the only courageous one, avatar Korra. You have got correct buddies, no question, said Ramuru. Thank you, but you stated Iroh dispatched you to assist me. Why? asked Korra, wanting to recognize why her pal from the Spirit Global could send a person so robust to assist her. I suppose we'd agree to talk it over in a more non-public area, don't you believe you studied? asked Ramuru. With a joint nod, crew Avatar and the human slime got here to in settlement, for they desired answers as to why someone so sturdy turned into dispatch to their useful resource. Crew Avatar and Ramuru remained in the identical area, as earlier than until the policeman who took care of the thieves, that they had defeated in advance arrived. As soon as the scenario was resolved, they determined to move directly to the primary subject matter. So they went to the Sato Mansion, where they could communicate quietly. They have been currently inside the primary room, with Group Avatar sitting on a couch and Ramuru sitting on some other sofa in front of them. For a few seconds, there has been an awkward silence. So, your name is Ramuru Tempest? asked Cora. Yes. And also you don't want to introduce yourselves. Iroh informed me approximately all of you, said Ramuru. Simply, what precisely did he let you know? Requested Bolin interestingly. Mako and Bolin rode orphans who were given into pro-bending as the hearth ferrets till some time later. Mako joined the police, and Bolin went through diverse jobs, until his modern-day occupation at Metrop and Avatar Korra observed at age four in education at a white lotus complex for years until you escaped and went to Republic Metropolis to learn how to airbend, after which went through many challenges, amongst which, one brought on you to be out of fee for three years, said Ramuru. Okay, it's clean that you recognize lots of factors, stated Asami. However we don't know something about you, stated Mako. Proper, I assume it's simplest logical to tell you approximately me, I am no longer a human to start with, said Ramuru. What do you imply? Requested Korra. In reaction, Ramuru's body unraveled till he transformed into his slime form, standing on the desk in front of absolutely everyone whose eyes and mouths dropped. Open. I will introduce myself again. I'm Ramuru Tempest and I'm no longer a awful slime, stated Ramuru reciting the sport phrase. Crew Avatar was nevertheless completely shocked on the revelation. That? It's your genuine form? Asked Korra. Hard to trust that something so small and easy has proven such electricity. Said Mako. You look like a cushion full of water. Said Bolin. Yeah, I generally surprise people like that. Stated Ramuru before Asami touched his frame with her finger, making it jump a touch. Virtually, you appearance cuter this way, said Asami. Thanks, said Ramuru. I have by no means seen a spirit such as you earlier then, said Korra. What makes you think I am a spirit? requested Ramuru. Well, you stated it changed into Iroh who dispatched you, and he lives within the Spirit International. Would not that make you a spirit? asked Korra. Ramuru jumped off the table and transformed right into a human before sitting go into reverse at the couch. Well, you are wrong, because I do not come from the spirit global, stated Ramuru. And wherein do you come back from? Because there was no creature such as you, said Mako. Well, you wouldn't if I wasn't from this international, could you? Requested Ramuru. That took crew avatar aback. Are you are you saying you return from any other global? One one of a kind from this one in the spirit global, requested Korra. Well yes, stated Ramuru questioning they might deny it or ask for affirmation. It is first rate 
said Cora with a smile. You honestly come from any other global? Sounds thoughts blowing, stated Boland. You appear to be taking it pretty well, said Rimuru. In spite of everything we've been via, it wouldn't be the most eldritch aspect, said Mako with a shrug. Except, it does not appear to be your mendacity, said Asami. What are you able to inform us about your global? Asked Cora. Properly, for starters, rather than bending, what is in my global is magic, which exists of diverse sorts, from elemental magic to divine or summoning magic, said Rimuru. And you could use many forms of magic, right? Asked Mako. That's proper. I own numerous capabilities, plus I will create new ones, thanks to incapability I've, said Rimuru. And to an awful lot honor, said Raphael. It's magnificent, said Bolin with a smile. It's far. But certainly one of my fundamental talents is Predator, which permits me to devour something, objects, magical assaults and even living things, said Rimuru. On one hand, group avatar turned into scared of the component that he may want to eat living matters without problems, however then again, they had been surprised that such incapacity existed, as it did not matter what sort of assault changed into thrown at him, as he ought to consume it without a problem. I can also create matters with the aid of mixing numerous ingredients in my frame, stated Rimuru before eliminating the masks he confirmed earlier from his hand. Outstanding, so that you may want to get rid of something always, stated Asami in awe. Well, not something exactly, but I will do several things, began Rimuru before setting the masks away interior. As I was pronouncing, in my world there aren't most effective humans, but additionally monsters, stated Rimuru continuing the reason. Monsters? Asked Korra. There are types of monsters, those which might be like wild animals and people which might be almost like people, like goblins, ogres and orcs, said Rimuru before pulling out a paper from his palm that had a photo of him with all his friends and minions. Here's a sample. Wow, they look wonderful, said Bolin. And it looks like you're accurate pals, said Asami. Sure, this is Voldora, Benamaru, Shion, Shuna, Hakuro, Saoe, Gobda, Rigard, Gabiru and Geld. The humorous component is that I gave their name to they all, stated Rimuru to the confusion of the others. You gave them their name? What does that imply? Asked Korra. You notice, in that international, monsters are born without names. While a monster receives its call from a person, it turns into their subordinate. Stated Rimuru. That's a very extraordinary rule, said Bolin. So, they are all of your subordinates. Asked Asami. This is right, but I don't do it because I need to. I always ask for their consent before I name them. Stated Rimuru. It really is very considerate of you. Stated Korra. And also, you named all your subordinates? Asked Mako. Yes. In fact, I have so many minions that I ended up founding a whole metropolis. Stated Rimuru. Are you the chief of a town? Requested Korra, amazed to hear that. That is right. I'm the modern day leader of the Jura Tempest Federation. Stated Rimuru. Wow. Then you definitely should have named a variety of monsters. Said Bolin. You have to have exceptional reminiscence if you could recall them all. Stated, Asami. I recognize. Said Rimuru laughing lightly. Which means you ought to be very robust. How robust are you precisely? Asked Korra, as she become curious how a lot energy the slime had, regardless of having felt a taste of it earlier than. I'm so powerful that I received the title of Demon Lord, given to the maximum effective in my global. Stated Rimuru. That stunned group avatar, for that intended that Rimuru become one of the most powerful beings in their global. Hell. He may be extra effective than the avatar or even several avatars combined. Speaking of which, how do you realize Iro if you're from another world? Asked Korra. A chum of mine is a spirit who frequently visits the Spirit International and hangs out with him. She become the one who added him to me, and that's how I met him, said Rimuru. But what precisely goes on? Why could Iro ship you? Asked Asami. Reputedly. He has sensed the spirits very uneasy and concerned and fears that something awful and powerful is coming. When you consider that my buddy instructed him about me, he idea I ought to assist the avatar remedy that issue. Stated Rimuru sudden the group. Is there any word on what exactly is happening? Requested Korra. No. Alas, he does not recognize himself. However, he doesn't assume you'll be able to address this threat to your very own. Stated Rimuru. Team Avatar may also have fought horrible and effective fighters. However, if what the slime was saying became proper, and he becomes sent to help them by being so powerful, then that chance would be the hardest but dot so what need to we do? Requested Bolin dot for now, we ought to record this to Tenzin and Lin. Stated Mako dot proper idea. We ought to at least prepare for whatever happens. Said Asami dot you could expect my assist on every occasion you want. Stated Rimuru dot thank you very much. 
Lord Ramuru, we admire you going to assist us in this count number, said Korra bowing and thank you, as he become a person very essential. You don't should thank me. I'm just doing what everyone would do in my state of affairs, stated Ramuru being modest. Through the way, if you do not have an area to stay for the night time, you could stay here, said a summy. Well, I guess I can't refuse that provide, and because I have to help you, it is really helpful that I'm nearby, stated Ramuru to the pleasure of Asami and Korra, who also lived inside the mansion. Don't you sense lonely having left yours in the back of? asked Bolin. A touch, but I recognize they're sturdy and smart, sufficient to manage without me. Besides, I didn't come all by myself, stated Ramuru. Ah, no, asked Mako. I n reaction, out of Ramuru's shadow came a large wolf with horns and a line on his forehead. Useless to mention. Group Avatar became startled by means of it. What's that? asked Asami. Let me introduce Ranga. He become considered one of my first subordinates, and due to the fact that then he follows me everywhere tucked in my shadow, stated Ramuru. Korra determined to take the first step and approach the horn wolf. N. Nice to meet you, Ranga, stated Korra, hoping it wasn't competitive. Likewise, Lord Ramuru's pals are my pals, said Ranga, taking the team by way of surprise. Ah. He can communicate, said Bolin surprised to pay attention the gigantic animal talk. Nicely, of root it may. Ranga, go back to my shadow and watch for news, said Ramuru. As you command, my lord, stated Ranga before slipping into his master's shadow. You sincerely are full of surprises, said Korra with a grin. That is what takes place while you're the leader of a city of monsters said Ramuru making the team avatar participants, Chortle.The Solar became shining quietly over Republic Metropolis.It have been a few hours, given that Ramuru had arrived inside the city, introduced himself to the group avatar, and made the situation regarded. For the reason that there has been nevertheless masses of time left in the day. Ramuru determined to spend the time exploring the city some extra whilst the others went approximately their commercial enterprise. As Ramuru, strolled through the streets, he kept reminiscing approximately the time before he became reincarnated, for whilst he become just a everyday human man going daily to his office to paintings, with people and cars cruising the streets to its destination. I ponder how all people is doing lower back on my domestic international. Nicely, I wager I'm able to only desire that everyone is well after my death and maximum of all, that my tough drive turned into destroyed unchecked. Idea Ramuru remembering what he requested as co-employee before he died. He had to pause for a second as a hedgehog-like spirit strolling on two legs, passed in front of him. Any other component that differentiated that city along with his fatherland, except the steampunk topic changed into that there were spirits anywhere, and in all bureaucracy. The most curious element was that the humans acted lightly round them, as if it changed into a regular component. I'm hoping that at some point, my metropolis may be as desirable as this one. In reality, maybe I ought to set up a few urban and present day matters. It might be of use to us inside the future. In no way better stated. Concept Ramuru. Caution. The incorporation of objects from any other global and a sophisticated age may want to come to be causing financial chaos, said Raphael. I recognize, I realize, I used to be planning to go slowly. I wasn't making plans to include motors or trains within the first example either. Idea Ramuru. As he persisted on foot, realizing what place he was in. He determined to pay a go to to someone nearby. Ramuru's walk took him to Destiny Industries, the corporation run by way of Asami Sato, that manufactured the Sato mobiles that ran through the streets, in addition to other things that helped the town. After introducing himself to the guards as Asami's pal, he changed into a loud passage and become on foot across the manufacturing facility grounds, observing rooms where there have been people and or machines designing the Sato mobiles like in meeting line. He, any other element that jogs my memory of my international. It will be a count of time till they design the electric motors. Notion Ramuru walking till she came to a workshop wherein she saw Asami fixing a Satomobile engine. Asami, stated Ramuru catching the engineer's attention. Oh, Lord Ramuru, to what do I owe the delight? Asked Asami. I used to be passing nearby and wanted to pay a go to. Stated Ramuru. Nicely then, how do you like the facility? Asked Asami. It's now not bad at all. I'm impressed that you can take care of it. In fact, what are you doing right here? Asked Ramuru. I know I am the president of the employer, but every every so often I really like to head back to my roots, 
and assist in constructing or repairing some products like this, stated Asami. I suppose it is virtually cool, plus, it will let you release strain, said Remuru. Sure, it is an excellent way to have a look at it, stated Asami. It become then that Remuru noticed that, in a nook, there was a potted plant, just like the ones that were everywhere in the metropolis. What's up? What's that? asked Ramuru, pointing to the pot. Oh, that. It's about a touch venture I have been considering currently, stated Asami. What's it? requested Ramuru interestingly. You see, started Asami before picking up the pot and showing it to the human slime. While Korra opened the spirit portals, tons of the town become covered with these plant life that convey religious strength. In reality, they're alive. To test it, Ramuru touched the plant a touch inflicting it to squirm a bit. Evaluation. The pattern incorporates a medium amount of religious energy, stated Raphael. And it is small to boot. I can't believe the quantity the flowers all around the town ought to have. Idea Ramuru. While Kuvira changed into bringing order to the earth state, she forced Varric to analyze them with the aim of turning the spiritual power they'd write into a weapon. Said Asami. It really is where the canon of that massive robotic came from. Said Rimuru remembering what Iroh informed him approximately the Metalbender's invasion attempt. It's proper. Considering then, no one has dared to research the electricity of the spirit flowers, at the danger of causing an explosion, just like the one which created the town's spirit portal. Said Asami. That's comprehensible. Due to the fact I do not think something like that would appear once more. Thought Rimuru. Then why are you doing it unlike the others? I plan something unique from creating a weapon or something for my very own advantage. The challenge is to use the non-secular energy of vegetation as a supply of renewable energy. Defined Asami Dodden, strength that doesn't pollute and may deliver a whole town due to its abundance. It is a wonderful concept. Stated Rimuru. It's far. However, sadly, there's still an splendid issue. Stated Asami. What's it? Asked Rimuru. The final time they were experimented on, they reacted and attacked humans. What I plan to do is to discover a method for them to provide us their power easily. Stated Asami. MMM. Expressed Rimuru crossing his fingers as he started to think. I suppose I've an idea. Started Rimuru catching the engineer's interest. You assert you need the flora to give you their strength with none troubles. What in case you provide them something and go back? That way, the flowers will come up with their electricity, and they will get something in return for it. Like, an equivalent alternate? Requested Asami before smiling in delight. That's extremely good. I do not know how I did not consider it before. Now, I'll be capable of make greater development at the research. I'd simplest want the element that I would bestow at the flowers and trade for their strength. Thanks very a lot, Lord Ramuru.you. Are welcome and I am certain you'll come to be locating the answer. Nicely, I might better get going. There's plenty I want to explore. Said Rimuru leaving the vicinity. Take care. Stated Asami saying goodbye. Thank you. Said Rimuru. Later, Rimuru determined to test the city corridor. MMM. No longer bad. I might say it looks a piece like mine. Stated Ramuru walking through the halls of the constructing. ALL at once. He ran into someone. I am sorry. I didn't see you. I began the person the human slime had ran into, who turned out to be Bolin. Lord Ramuru, how sorry I'm, said Bolin nervously. Oh, do not worry about it. It is my fault for being distracted, said Ramuru. What are you doing here? By using the manor? requested Bolin. I truly desired to perform a little sightseeing, said Ramuru with a shrug. Bolin. They both turned to the aspect to see a darkish haired lady with glasses arrive. I need you to fill out some office work about systems and then bring me the economics files, stated the female. Of course, Madam President, stated Bolin. And who is your friend? Requested the lady, understanding the presence of the human slime. Oh, proper, Madam President, do you take into account what I informed you approximately a certain risk that become coming? Requested Bolin. Oh, so he's the envoy of the spirits. Excellent to fulfill you. I am Zhu Li, the president of Republic Town, stated Zhu Li shaking hands with the human slime's hand. Likewise, Madam President, stated Ramuru. Did I hear what I simply heard the three grew to become to the side to peer a man with brown pores and skin, and a small mustache fast arrived. That man fast approached Ramuru, and shook his hand. It's far in honor to satisfy an envoy of the spirits. My call is Varric, fantastic inventor, famous philanthropist and husband of the president, Varric said introducing himself. Ah, uh, sure, Varric, I have already heard about you, the person who completed numerous acts of terrorism in charge on Alax forces, who tried to kidnap Raiko, the previous president and who constructed the weapon Kuvira used, said Ramuru citing all of the bad things the person did. Pointless to mention, 
That made Bolin cover his mouth to preserve again his laughter as Julie chuckled. Okay, guilty of all that. However, that become while I was a unique man. Now I am a person new and higher, looking to do appropriate things for this metropolis and its beautiful president. Varric said, making his spouse blush slightly. I'm glad to listen that. Commenced Ramuru. Come to think about it, he rings a bell in my memory of someone who did terrible things, and now is someone better, an appropriate dot inside the center of Ramuru City. Gabiru let loose a sneeze. Daughter, you all proper? Lord Gabiru. Requested considered one of Gabiru's lizardmen followers. Daughter, you sick? Ask some other of Gabiru's lizardmen fans. No. It's possible that someone is talking about me someplace. Said Gabiru. Dot of direction. His greatness is such that human beings everywhere realize his name. Stated the third lizardman follower of Gabiru. Long stay, Lord Gabiru. Said the three lizardmen in unison. Then to what do I owe the satisfaction of your visit? Requested Zhu Li. Pure sightseeing. Not anything greater. You may preserve along with your responsibilities. Said Ramuru. Hey, since you're here, you could help. This is in case you don't mind, Madam President. Said Bolin. Of direction not. In fact, I ought to use an opinion from the spirit's point of view. Said Julie. If so, I'm able to gladly help you in any way I will. Began Ramuru. Even though technically, I am not a spirit. Concept Ramuru remembering that they determined to hold the reality about Ramuru a mystery simply telling approximately the danger, and that Ramuru turned into sent via the spirits to help. For more than one hours, Ramuru turned into at the Metropolis Hall, both assisting Bolin with paperwork stuff, and giving little advice to President Zhu Li, as he become skilled in governing a town. I in reality, as he hung obtainable, Ramuru become gaining knowledge of a thing or two about politics, that might assist him on destiny occasions. Later within the day, Ramuru endured to wander the streets of the city, till he came upon a building that appeared distinct from the others, and at the wall turned into a statue of a female in a bow and armor. I suppose that must be Toph Bifong, one and all Avatar Ong's buddies and founding father of the police force. Come to think of it, there is no police force in my metropolis. Possibly, after I go back, I will pick out some to form a vigilante and security organization. In spite of everything, the city is an awful lot larger now and that I cannot be everywhere. Notion Ramuru earlier than intending to enter the constructing dot once interior, Ramuru determined himself in a ready room, with people sitting around awaiting their flip, while multiple of them had been in the front of the price tag cubicles, making their requests, and questions. After taking a look around the vicinity, Ramuru become making plans to go away whilst Lord Ramuru Ramuru grew to become his head to the side to see Mako arriving on the vicinity. Ah, uh, Mako, I failed to assume you'd be right here, stated Ramuru. I had a few reviews to fill out earlier than I went on patrol. And what are you doing here? Requested Mako. That is what I might want to recognize. They both became their gaze to an entrance to look an older lady in armor with a small scar on her cheek. Leader Bifong. Permit me to introduce you to Lord Ramuru. He was sent by using the spirits to help us in that drawing near threat, said Mako introducing Ramuru to the woman who was introduced as Lin Bifong. Lin narrowed her stare upon the human slime, as if analyzing it. What a look. Almost jogs my memory of Gazel. Notion Ramuru feeling frightened at that look. I see. And are you in reality sure you don't know what we're going to be facing? Asked Lin crossing her fingers. Alas no. All we can do is put together for whatever takes place. Said Ramuru. And I agree. I've already requested my men to document any suspicious and unusual hobby to me. Stated Lin. Worth. Of a person like you, Leader Bifong, stated Ramuru with a smile. Something, said Lin before taking walks off, leaving the human slime and the firebender by myself. Excuse her, she's commonly like that with everyone, said Mako. Do not worry. Considering she has numerous duty, it is ordinary for her to be like this. Well, I may not waste any more of it slow. I'll cross on with my enterprise. Exact success at work, stated Ramuru before leaving. Thanks, said Mako. Cora become presently within the garden of the Sado mansion, meditating quietly. Ever in view that she learned that Ramuru become dispatched through Iroh himself to that international to help her deal with a completely extreme chance, she decided to prepare for it, but however, she failed to recognize what she changed into going to face, or how powerful it can be, and feared she wouldn't be as much as it. Dot whilst Ramuru gave her that take a look at, she bravely challenged him, inclined even to provide her existence to shield others, but now, she feared that even if she fought with all her may, she should do not anything against that danger, and not best could the component give up with her useless, 
However, along with her female friend, friends and circle of relatives lifeless. Lifeless.all, because she wasn't sturdy enough. It turned into then, that in concept crossed her mind. It was a crazy idea. Even Asami and the others might inform her no longer to do such a factor. But if she wanted to be organized for when that chance seemed, she had to try this. So, with dedication, she got up from her spot and left to discover the person that may want to assist her along with her concept. Inside the mansion, inside the central dwelling room, Rimuru becomes sitting on the sofa consuming tea and resting after his walk across the metropolis. In addition to the little activity on the city hall. Clearly, I'd have preferred to bring all and sundry right here, even though I'm sure they might have triggered some hassle or any other obtainable. Notion Rimuru chuckling gently at that picture. Caution. Situation with a fantastic deal of non secular energy approaching. Stated Raphael. It is possibly Cora. Concept Rimuru earlier than he heard the door open, and just as the potential said, there has been Cora, who walked up to Rimuru until she stood in the front of him. What do you need? Avatar Cora Cora. Still notion her idea became crazy, but if she wanted to transport forward, she would should, even though she was worried about what the human slime's response become going to be. After taking a deep breath, she bowed to him. Please, Lord Rimuru, combat me, said Cora. Excuse me. Asked Rimuru, confused and amazed by means of the request. I need you to combat me, said Cora, growing to her full top. Might also I recognize why you need me to fight you? Asked Rimuru. As you said. There's this sort of excellent and powerful threat drawing close that they even requested you to return assist me. That made me suppose that I may not be absolutely organized to combat him, and that I might come to be demise. Stated Cora. It may not appear. I'll be there to make sure of it. Stated Rimuru. I recognize. However, I cannot depend on you all of the time. I would want to be prepared for whatever comes my manner. And I'm able to simplest do this if I am up against a person very powerful. Stated Cora. A person like me, proper, requested Rimuru. Yes. So, will you fight me? Asked Cora, hoping he could take delivery of her request. Rimuru stopped to reflect on consideration on it, for it changed into authentic. That they did not understand what they could be up towards, and that it may be so effective. That Cora might be in serious hassle. He may want to recognize Cora's reason at the back of her request. Even he himself could, if he were in her state of affairs. All proper. I'll combat you. Stated Rimuru. Thanks very a good deal, Lord Rimuru. I admire it, said Cora with a smile and bowing in thanks. But I must warn you that I won't be frank with you. Still, would you combat me besides? Asked Rimuru. If it will help me emerge as stronger, I will receive it, said Cora earnestly. Quality. We would better cross somewhere larger, said Rimuru getting up from the sofa. Later, Rimuru and Cora observed themselves in a massive vicinity of the mansion's lawn, with each at one end of the area, preparing for the fight. Because you have been the only who suggested this, I will let you make the first pass, said Rimuru. Cora felt very anxious as the first pass turned into a huge deal in a fight. However, this wouldn't be a normal fight. It might be a fight against a person who held the identify of Demon Lord, one of the most powerful inside the international. She may be the strongest in the global. However, evaluating her abilities to the human slime, she was nevertheless a novice. But nonetheless, if she wanted to get stronger for when that threat came, she needed to do this. Performing quick, Cora started out to release fireballs towards the human slime, but he nimbly dodged all of the attacks. After that, Rimuru shot a flare of black hearth from his hand. Cora became stunned, as she had by no means visible hearth of that shade before. However, she needed to position that surprise aside, so that it will block the flare, along with her naked hands. By the point the hearth melted, Rimuru observed himself in front of her, and before she could react, he kicked her in the chest. Sending her backwards. Despite the dimensions of the human slime, Cora ought to feel an extremely good pressure in that kick. As though she were hit with the aid of a Sadomobile. She stood up with a groan of ache and effort, just as Rimuru charged toward her at full pace to hit her once more. However, Cora reacted quickly and brought about a stalagmite to pop up proper, wherein the human slime become going to appear, forcing him to again away. As though he had acknowledged what would occur. Instead of awaiting him to assault again, Cora commenced throwing multiple rocks, and also inflicting stalagmites to erect at the floor, inflicting Rimuru to transport quickly from side to side to circumvent all the ground attacks. A rock became approximately to hit him. However, Rimuru protected his fingers with scales and positioned them in an X form in the front of him. The moment the rock impacted the fingers, 
it shattered into portions. After that, he shot out of his mouth a cloud of yellow gas. Cora failed to understand what that fuel turned into, however, she should remember that it turned into risky. So she proceeded to create a dome of air around her that covered her from the gas. By the time the gas changed into gone, Cora created an air scooter, with which she fast headed in the direction of the human slime who answered to that by way of moving back and forth, being Chaz through the avatar. Just as Ramuru stepped to the facet, Korra undocked the scooter and launched a wave of cutting wind. However, Ramuru countered it with every other wave of cutting wind, a great deal to the avatar's surprise. Ramuru then shot numerous icicles of ice from his body like a gadget gun. However, Korra reacted speedy and used waterbending to cowl her arms with water, freezing the top and moving them quickly to block the incoming icicles. Even as dodging some dot whilst the rain of icicles was over, Korra unified the water in her palms to shoot a powerful jet of pressurized water. But then, Ramuru raised his arm, and a black vortex appeared in front. The vortex ended up devouring the complete water attack. That left Korra surprised, as she had simply witnessed the predator ability. As quickly, because the water attack became completely devoured, Ramuru charged back toward Korra, who instinctively used airbending to propel herself upwards, handling to get away from the human slime. As soon as up, she launched a wave of hearth and a wave of wind, that when combined, created a greater effective attack. However, Ramuru in reality jumped lower back to ward off it. Simply, as Korra landed on the ground, she made a couple of columns come out of the ground and headed closer to the slime, who jumped excessive to sidestep it, and at the same time as in the air, shot a effective black lightning from his hand. Korra, controlled to react quickly, and pointed two of her fingers forward, attracting the lightning like a lightning rod. She set free, a groan of ache, as she felt the depth of the lightning, and earlier than the ache accelerated, she pointed the fingers of her other hand to the aspect, taking pictures the lightning she had drawn into the sky in another course. Ramuru changed into greatly surprised at such a way as he landed at the ground. At the same time he saw Korra gasp heavily. Ramuru became about to indicate finishing the combat. But earlier than he ought to say a phrase, Korra backed to the fray by means of launching a powerful blast of wind, that controlled to catch the human slime off defend pushing it backwards. Subsequent, Korra pulled out a pair of steel balls from her bag and grew to become them into metallic blades that she hurled toward the human slime. Ramuru began to move backward and forward while dodging the blades that moved round him like mosquitoes way to Korra's metal bending. Simply, as Ramuru threw his head to the aspect to avert any other metal blade, Korra quick regarded in front of him way to propelling herself with airbending and managed to punch the human slime in the face, knocking it return. Before he should do something else, Korra threw a big wave of reducing wind at him, that moved fast toward him. Ramuru dodged to the aspect to evade it, but then, due to the velocity of the assault slash his right arm, ended up severed and severed from the relaxation of his body. Korra turned into horrified when she saw the severed arm fall to the floor, as Ramuru stared at it. The shock became such that Korra became unable to mention anything, as she had simply amputated a demon lord from every other international. Wonderful, stated Ramuru with a grin. Earlier than Korra could mention approximately the arm, to her marvel, the severed arm became a puddle whilst from the stump wherein the arm was, a substance emerged that rapidly after, solidified and transformed into a new arm, garments and all. Ramuru positioned his new hand in the front of his face, and clenched his fist. It. It's been a while given that someone hurt me like this, said Ramuru remembering fights just like the one with the Kirins and the one with Hinata. Dot, are you? Are you okay? Asked Korra regaining her voice. Dot, yes, do not worry. I've the capacity to regenerate speedy from any wound, irrespective of how intense and lethal. Started out Ramuru earlier than approaching the Avatar. I congratulate you, Avatar Korra. You are indeed robust, and that I have been retaining again. Dot, that surprised the Avatar. For with the one's capabilities and that recuperation capability, he changed into most effective maintaining returned, which showed that he hadn't fought with all his might. He was virtually a person very effective. However, she couldn't assist but smile at the human slime's praise. Thanks, Lord Ramuru, stated Korra, bowing and thanks. If you maintain schooling like that, you may actually turn out to be someone very sturdy, said Ramuru. Can I ask something? asked Korra, receiving a nod from the human slime. Why are you so robust? I imply, you are the leader of a metropolis of monsters, and you are at fine one of the most powerful beings in your international. 
but for what reason allow me solution that with any other query, for what reason does the avatar educate to bender the four elements, requested Ramuru dot to convey balance to the world and protect humans and spirits, said Cora dot then you can say it is similar to mine, commenced Ramuru puzzling the avatar, in which I come from, People and monsters do not get alongside. There are folks that hate us or even thought of attacking our metropolis as it became a city of monsters, stated Rimuru recalling how a sure empire launched an attack on them that killed a number of their own. If I the identify of demon lord, it is so that I'm able to protect my personal and not best that, but I intend to create a city in which monsters and people can be collectively as a network. This is my reason. Cora smiled at that. Dot some might emerge as robust for the sake of being strong or to be above others, but he just desires to be sturdy to protect his pals and residents, in addition to create a society just like Republic Town, which become based for benders and non-benders of all nations. To live collectively. It really is very noble of you. I'm sure you will prevail, stated Cora. I think so too. Mainly after seeing this town. Nicely, what do you say we go internal and relaxation? I am sure that fight need to have worn you out, stated Ramuru. Yeah, quite plenty, said Cora before following the human slime in the mansion. Oh, and that same day, Cora realized things. The primary turned into that she not cared what sort of chance it would be that she would face, she could fight it together with her buddies and someone she depended on. And the second one turned into that if she desired to defend, now not handiest the sector. But additionally the humans she cared about, she had to turn out to be stronger. It changed into another vivid day in Republic Town. Proper now, Rimuru became with group Avatar, enjoyable quietly inside the park, as they spent a day collectively. Did, you certainly make quite a few development on that mission? Asked Mako. Yes and way to Lord Rimuru, stated Asami. No want to thank me. I most effective gave a little advice, said Rimuru. Nevertheless, it become very useful. Now, I would only need one key factor to make the challenge paintings flawlessly, stated Asami. I am certain you may locate that secret component, stated Cora. I just desire it's the proper one. I do not feel like experiencing what came about with Varric once more, said Boland before the others laughed lightly. So, how do you like our city, Lord Rimuru? asked Cora. Quite impressive. In fact, I may actually have a meeting with President Julie after that is over to come to an agreement between our towns, said Rimuru. Oh, yes, that would be interesting. In fact, I'd like to satisfy your town one day, said Cora. I'll maintain that in mind, said Rimuru with a smile. Agent Mako, Agent Mako, called Lynn from Mako's radio, who quickly picked it up to answer the decision. What's up, Chief? requested Mako. We have detected participants of the Triple Hazard Triad fleeing around the south-southwest corner near Avatar Cora Park, stated Lin. We'll meet you proper there, Lin. We'll be part of a proper away, stated Cora. Copy that, said Lin before reducing the call. You in, Lord Ramuru? Asked Asami. Signing up for a police chase? I might be angry if I didn't, said Ramuru accepting the invitation. Then we must hurry. They can be very near right here said Mako. Wasting no time, the organization of five climbed into the crew's sadomobile and prompt. For a few minutes they were scouring the city streets, searching for the suspect, automobile. They could be anywhere. How will we discover them? requested Boland. Raphael. Do you believe you studied you could locate them? asked Ramuru. Evaluation. Detected an item transferring at excessive speeds. Stated Raphael. Which course? Asked Ramuru before receiving the directions of the ability. Asami crossed down that road and turned right at the subsequent intersection. Stated Ramuru. Okay, if you say so. Stated Asami directing the Sadomobile to where the human slime indicated. Just as they reached the factor he indicated, a van passed near them at excessive speed. There they may be. It is them. Stated Mako. Speed up. Asami said Cora earlier than her female friend stepped on the accelerator steering the Sadomobile, until it was in the back of the van. Quickly after, four bikers placed themselves around the van. Looks like they're coming with Enterprise, stated Boland. And I do not think it's the good kind, said Ramuru. Oh, any of the bikers shot a lightning that become aimed at the wheels of the group Avatar's Sadomobile, but Ramuru controlled to neutralize it with a black lightning. After that, Cora, Mako and Boland began shooting elemental attacks at the bikers who dodged the attacks, while also capturing their elemental attacks, which Asami dodged along with her driving in the back of the wheel. Ramuru, 
decided to make his circulate with the aid of capturing a spider thread that got entangled in one of the bikers, inflicting him to lose manage of his motorbike and crash. Bolin took benefit of that, growing a bump within the direction of any other of the bikers who turned into distracted launching his attacks, causing him to be dispatched airborne and crash into a stand of cabbages. My cabbages, shouted the stall keeper. Hm, I experience like I heard that somewhere, commented Cora. A biker threw a massive drop of water but Mako controlled to evaporate it with a big fireball. Using the steam as a smokescreen, Korra created along with her two steel balls, a steel shuriken much like Bolin's, and threw it on the biker, or as a substitute, on the wheel of his motorcycle which precipitated the biker to crash. The closing biker approached the van, and hit it a couple of instances which triggered the lower back door to open, to expose a couple of guys with several wooden containers. At the back of them. The two men created fireballs among their palms, which they threw in the direction of every other, inflicting an explosion that left a cloud of smoke within the technique. The organization of five started to cough as the smoke reached them. Cora stated Asami looking to recognition her gaze on the road, in spite of the smoke. I'm on it, said Cora earlier than the usage of airbending to break up the smoke. However, they determined that the criminals had used that to get further far away from them. They're transferring away said Bolin. I have an idea. Started Ramuru before returning to his slime shape and leaping toward Korra who grabbed him with one hand. Throw me toward the van. What? Are you positive? Asked Korra surprised by way of the slime's request. Trust me. Said Ramuru. That turned into enough to persuade the avatar who nodded at him with a serious look before tossing him toward the van like a baseball. Sadly. The end result turned into that it ended up hitting the van door like a water balloon. Dada. Express Team Avatar upon seeing how the slime ended up. This did not flip out the way I notion it did, however, nonetheless, started Ramuru earlier than reforming and slipping in her by sneaking through the crack among the lower back doors of the van. I and the van. The two men have been talking about the scenario from earlier. Do you believe you studied? We've got thrown them off? Requested a tall, muscular man. I'm hoping so. It'd be horrible for us if the Avatar were given maintain of our products, said a thin guy. It was then that the two guys noticed a blue substance squeezing via the crack among the doors and coalescing to shape a blob like creature. Greetings, gents, stated Ramuru. Huh? What the hell is that thing? asked the thin man. Ramuru converted into his human form, to the amazement of the guys. Your worst nightmare, said Ramuru with a grin. From the front seat, the motive force became using the van calmly until he commenced to listen sounds of fighting within the returned, so he banged his fist on the again wall, without taking his eyes off the road. Quiet return there. If you want to kill every other, wait until we get to our vacation spot, stated the driving force. Suddenly, the window connecting to the again opened and out. Got here Ramuru in his slime shape before turning human to take a seat within the passenger seat. Something that noticed and alarmed the driver. What the hell? Requested the motive force. Sorry, however that is your stop said Ramuru before shooting a cloud of yellow fuel from his mouth. From outside, the team avatar and the ultimate biker watched as the van become rocking from side to side before regaining. Manipulate. The rider turned into confused and supposed to go take a look at the situation. But Cora acted fast and included the ground in front with water that iced up in much less than a 2D. Inflicting the rider to slide and crash into a lampus. Finally, the van drove round for a while until it stopped, with the group Avatar Sadomobile pulling up at the back of it. Team Avatar were given out of the vehicle and approached the van doors geared up to fight if necessary, but when the driving force's door opened, the motive force became seen in a panicked pose and expression, as though frozen earlier than he fell to the floor inside the same posture. Searching up, all of us noticed Ramuru smiling with one hand at the steering wheel and the alternative arm resting at the seat. Unique transport. Said Ramuru with a wink. Later, Team Avatar and Ramuru tied up all the criminals, whilst they waited for the police to take them to jail. That is in which it ends, said Cora. I'm wondering what they were transporting, said Asami, searching on the bins inside the van. It need to be something very important in the event that they intended to combat over it, said Mako. There is handiest one way to test started out Boland before stepping into the return of the van and beginning one of the packing containers. Best to be left extensive eyed as soon as he saw the contents. Uh, men, I assume you ought to see this. The others entered the van, and the opposite individuals of Crew Avatar have been stunned when they noticed that the field changed into packed with metal sticks and tech gloves. What's all this? asked Ramuru in confusion. Their equalist weapons, stated Korra. The equalists, 
You imply that terrorist organization whose chief, who desired equality, had the energy to wrest electricity from the benders, however turned out to be a bloodbender, asked Ramuru remembering what he became informed about the avatar's enemies. It is right, and all the one's weapons were used by them, commenced Asami earlier than selecting up a couple of metallic sticks. In fact, those had been the weapons used by the lieutenant. Sure, I nonetheless recall the damage they triggered when they touched you, said Bolin remembering his first fight with the lieutenant. However, why might the triple danger triad have weapons from a gang that disappeared years in the past? Requested Korra. We might hire Ask, began Mako earlier than the group approached the detained criminals. What do you would like to do with that products will by no means let you know, stated the thin man. Sure, you could do something you need to us. However, we may not say a phrase approximately our plans, said the large, muscular man. All proper. We may not force you to mention anything, commenced Ramuru with a grin, a whole lot to the confusion of group avatar. However, it will likely be uninteresting with the intention to stand there waiting for the police. So I will allow you to play with Ranga for a while. That made Team Avatar start to understand what the human slime changed into planning. W who's Ranga? asked the thin man. I N reaction. Ranga stepped out of Ramuru's shadow, and stood in front of the criminals. This is Ranga, began Ramuru as Ranga threw a snarl at the criminals. Even though I suppose I will come up with a choice, you may talk approximately what you had been doing, or you may stay and play with Ranga, and I will alert you that he likes to bite on his toys. The criminals started to tremble with worry after they saw the horn wolf circulate his face in the direction of them, as he bared his sharp fangs. Okay, okay, alright, we're going to communicate, however get that monster far from us. The skinny guy exclaimed in panic. That is what I desired to hear, stated Ramuru before Ranga stopped growling and stood beside his grasp with a glad expression. Well, Done, Ranga, stated Korra as she petted the horn wolf tons to his entertainment. Soon after, the organization of five had been at Lin Bifong's workplace to inform them what they found out because of the criminals' confessions. So, what did you find out? Requested Lin. Evidently, after Takuga's disappearance, the triple danger triad has been seeking to recover, said Mako. Too. That cease, they have got been accumulating cloth from the Equalists and Kuvira's troops, said Asami. They have got even been recruiting humans from other triads, said Bolin. And what had been they making plans to do with that cargo we confiscated? Requested Lin. From what we've got been told, they had been making plans to take it to their mystery base, in which they store all the material they plan to use to regain the territories they misplaced, stated Korra. Which might come to be in a gang struggle that could have an effect on the whole city, stated Ramuru. Then we must stop them as quickly as possible. Did they at the least say wherein their base become? Asked Lin. It changed into a chunk tough to convince them. Began Ramuru remembering that he needed to threaten them with Ranga again. However, we managed to get the precise place. They seemed to be hiding in a constructing position within the regions laid low with the spirit vegetation, said Korra. It is an awesome location to hide, since hardly all of us passes by except for the spirits, said Mako. Ordinary terrible men. Hiding within the final vicinity a person would not assume, stated Bolin. In that case, I'll acquire my guys for an attack on the enemy base, stated Lin growing from her seat. You may anticipate us, stated Asami. It will be my satisfaction to assist in the assault, said Ramuru. A couple of hours later, crew avatar, Ramuru, Lin, and several policemen have been status around a big constructing that was included via spirit, plants. Shouldn't we attack already? Requested Ramuru. No. It is able to be a red herring or entice. So we need to watch for affirmation first. Stated Cora. You are learning, female. Began Lynn earlier than status in the front. And the usage of seismic sense to hit upon the surrounding region. There appears to be a passageway leading to a series of subway chambers underneath the vicinity. It become probable made by way of the earthbenders in order that we wouldn't locate them in case we place this location, stated Mako. So, is the area clean? Asked Bolin. No. There are three guys status inside the main room, in all likelihood status guard, said Lin. Then it'll be easy to get them out, said Asami. Internal three men had been sitting round a table gambling a game of poker. Abruptly, they needed to stop their game, while Ramuru kicked open the door. Freeze everybody, you're beneath arrest, exclaimed Ramuru alerting the men. 
I had constantly wanted to say that. Notion Ramuru with childish excitement. Before the men could act, Cora and Lin rushed in and tied them up with steel ropes. Turned into it, necessary to make that front? Asked Lin to the human slime. He, sorry. The excitement of the situation, said Ramuru with a frightened smile. Simply, I'd have performed the equal. Stated Cora with a smile. Soon after, the room become full of police and team avatar. With an earthbending flow, Lin opened a hole that revealed a spiral staircase happening very deep. Wow, that sure is deep, said Bolin. Looks as if they have got been right here plenty longer than we concept. Stated Mako. Let's not waste time. We will cross in line and if we see everybody suspicious, we will arrest them instantaneous. Stated Lin. After receiving a nod from all people. One after the other they made their way down the stairs until they reached a hallway lit through small lamps. Mako, and Cora lit the way with their own flames, as they led the others down the hallway. It changed into then, but they got here upon a phase that cut up the path in three one-of-a-kind instructions. So, what do we do now? Asked Asami. We cut up up. Cora, you take yours down the tunnel on the proper. I'll take my men down the one on the left. The rest of you take the center one. Hold me knowledgeable always in case whatever happens. Stated Lin. With the group selected, every went into their corresponding tunnel. Cora, and Ramuru's institution turned into walking down the tunnel for a while. Caution. Unknown presence of numerous topics detected more than one kilometers from present day area, said Raphael. Hearing that, Ramuru stopped the others. I sense like we are coming near a crowded vicinity, said Ramuru. Then we'd hire go with stealth and warning, said Cora, extinguishing her flame, as did Mako as Asami donned the electrified gauntlet. The organization of five walked silently down the tunnel until they came upon a large wood door. Tenuan says they will be at the back of that door, said Bolin. Permit me open it, stated Ramuru's status in the front of the door, and punching it so hard that it without problems knocked it down. Virtually, after what they noticed the slime do, the others were not as amazed as earlier than. The disintegrate of the door allowed the organization to peer a massive room packed with numerous bins, with a desk in the center, and numerous people sitting round it who had been alarmed as quickly as they saw the group in which the door was. Police, fingers wherein I'm able to see them, demanded Mako. Alas, one of these men responded with a lightning that Ramuru Wolf, together with his talent. I suppose they have no intention of giving up, said Ramuru. Well, allows display them why they made a horrific choice, said Cora, cracking her knuckles with a smile of excitement. Oh, any of the criminals threw a sequence of stone stalagmites at Asami from the ground, however, Asami managed to ward off them before using one among them as a springboard to launch herself toward the criminal, and contact his face, along with her electrified gauntlet, and as the crook screamed in pain. Asami turned her frame to raise the crook above her, and impact him in opposition to the ground, while nonetheless retaining his face with the gauntlet. Another of the criminals, launched a blast of water toward Bolin, who blocked it with a wall of lava earlier than hardening it into rock, which he then split into more than one stones which he fast shot at the criminal knocking him down within the technique. A N Y other criminal, created a couple of fire whips, which he tried to attack Mako with, however he dodged more than one whips, before growing his very own hearth whips, which he used to block the whips. Simply, as he dodged any other whip, Mako launched a fireball from a kick that the criminal destroyed with a fire whip, which Mako took benefit of to hit him along with his whips and X function. Knocking him down afterwards. Cora stood among criminals who released a rock and a fireball, However, Cora managed to dam both assaults, with a cowl of water, that she then iced up and become ice projectiles, to throw on the criminals who neutralized them along with her factors. Then, with a stomp, she generated an earth wave that knocked the two criminals down, and before they might stand up, Cora certain them together with her metal balls that she changed into ribbons. Ramuru, become going through a couple of criminals who launched a combined fireplace assault. However, Ramuru truly walked through the fireplace, find it irresistible turned into nothing, as he was proof against fire, which scared the criminals. Earlier than they could react, Ramuru shot a spider thread at them, which tied them each up and left them putting upside down in mid air. By means of then, all of the criminals inside the room had been both down or tied up. Changed into that all of them requested Cora. It looks like it become. I do not locate all of us else on this room, said Ramuru. I'll report lower back, started Mako before choosing up his radio, Chief Bifong, that is Agent Mako, 
Do you study me? This is Leader Bifong. Scenario file. Stated Lin from the opposite quit of the line. We've determined a room complete of bins and some human beings we have detained. Stated Mako explaining the situation. We've also located a comparable room. However, we managed to neutralize absolutely everyone in there and just these days, the one third squadron pronounced to me that they have been within the same situation. Said Lin. I guess that means the assignment is over. Stated Bolin. Yes. Now, no one will use all these things for bad matters. Said Asami. What did you watch? Lord Ramuru? Requested Korra. Genuinely, I haven't had fun like this in a long time. Said Ramuru earlier than the group burst out laughing. It was the nighttime in Republic City, and everyone became napping peacefully, in particular Group Avatar, as they had recently raided the Triple Hazard Triad base and detained every person there, as well as confiscating and or destroying any shipment there at the threat of it falling into the fingers of a person evil or insane. Like Varric. Although they have been slumbering, Ramuru become nevertheless wakeful, as he did not need to sleep and became on the roof of the constructing quietly watching the town being illuminated via the spirit portal. He may also have come to that international to resolve a risky scenario that hadn't but befell. However, he still enjoyed his time in that world, and in the business enterprise of his new buddies. But no one, now not even he, ought to feel what was happening. At the spiritual portal of Republic Metropolis, all regarded quiet, with the mild from the portal illuminating the vicinity. But then, something or someone crossed the portal. That character stared at the metropolis around the crater, wherein the portal turned into Dada, Republic Town. It's far first rate to look you again. I would really like to look how things have changed since my departure, however I've business to take care of, the person said before leaving. I in a small house inside the slums of the metropolis, there were numerous guys, but they weren't just any men. Those were members of the Triple Danger Triad, who have been discussing what came about with the police and Team Avatar. Damn. We've got been dealt a big blow, said one of the guys in frustration. I cannot accept as true with months of collecting and recruiting, were wiped out in a matter of hours, said some other of the men. At this price, the triad will subsequently disappear, stated the third guy in grief. Abruptly, the doors to the room open violently, drawing the attention of the guys standing there. Who's there? requested one of the men. How dare you come in right here? requested every other of the guys. Gents, do not inform me you have got forgotten about me? requested the person that handed the doorway coming into the room, and the guys gasped as quickly as they noticed who it turned into. It turned into a person of common peak. However the most putting element become that his proper arm changed into a tentacle, and the right a half of his face wasn't human. T Takuga? exclaimed one of the guys. The ultimate time we heard from you, you disappeared into the Spirit International. We concept you had died, said every other of the guys. You idea incorrect. I used to be just hiding until the time become right on the way to go back. And what do I find out? That our triad is falling apart, stated Takuga looking irritated. P please forgive us. Because you left, matters had been going incorrect for us, stated one of the men. Why sure, several of our human beings left to enroll in different triads, and most people have stopped being scared of us, said any other of the guys. We attempted to obtain materials via the artifacts the equalists used in addition to recruit participants who had been kicked out of other triads. However, the Avatar and her squad of cronies located our mystery warehouse and took everything from us, said every other of the guys hoping that might rid them of the spirit man's fury. The Avatar, huh, nicely, I guess I can't completely blame you for your incompetence. Just this as soon as, started Takuga calming the men. Now, the maximum vital factor is to get lower back what is rightfully ours, beginning with the territories we lost. However, sir, we haven't any guys or armaments left. How do you intend to do this? Asked one of the guys. Fortunately, I failed to spend all my time inside the spirit world hiding. I also gathered some advantages, said Takuga with a wicked grin. Blessings? Asked some other of the men. Unexpectedly, some grunts were heard from in the back of Takuga. And the guys have been horrified when the ones inflicting the grunts showed themselves. Soon, no longer only can we regain manage of this metropolis, however, even the avatar may be under us, said Takuga with a toothy grin. The subsequent morning, Korra, Asami, and Ramuru have been taking part in a light breakfast. Good day. I just found out something. Being a slime, do you really need to devour? requested Korra interestingly. No. Longer genuinely, however that does not mean I enjoy the flavor of food, stated Ramuru with a smile. You're right, I might feel a touch unhappy if I wasn't capable of experience the meals, 
despite the fact that I do not want to eat it. Stated Asami. Just then, a butler came through the door. Omit Asami, leave out Cora. You have got a name from police officer Mako. Stated the butler. I will answer it. Stated Cora, getting up to answer the call, with Asami and Ramuru following behind, as they had been curious. What's up, Mako? Requested Cora, choosing up the telephone. What? Actually, how is that feasible? K, we will be proper there. Stated Cora, placing up the smartphone. What came about? Asked Ramuru. The imperative base of the Anai. Kai triad has been attacked. Stated Korra what? Requested Ramuru and Asami in surprise. Later, the three of them, aboard Asami's Sedomobile, went to the scene of the crime, which changed into a completely destroyed constructing, with several police and emergency cars parked around it and numerous humans. Whether or not they had been civilians searching on the scene with curiosity or folks who were stricken by what had happened. Wow. It looks like a twister acted up, said Ramuru. Most effective on this location? Asked Asami, no longer believing it changed into herbal. Getting out of the Sedomobile, the three approached Mako and Bolin, who have been close to the destroyed building. Mako. What precisely occurred? Requested Korra. We do not know. In keeping with witnesses, a pair of guys got here in the middle of the night, and soon after sounds of combating had been heard earlier than the building collapsed. Stated Mako explaining the scenario. Have there been any accidents? Requested Ramuru. Almost all of them. Maximum are in critical condition. Stated Mako. Have you been able to find out something? Asked Asami. No. A half of the survivors had been subconscious and the other a half too scared to mention anything, which could be very extraordinary, said Bolin. Hmm. In view of what the witnesses have said, it changed into maximum in all likelihood an assault between triads, stated Ramuru along with her palms crossed. I've been wondering the same element myself. The query is which one and all them it was, said Mako. Thinking about the quantity of triads inside the town, it is able to had been absolutely everyone, said Asami. Nicely, if it is attacked the Anai Kai triad, then it is only a matter of time earlier than they attack once more, said Korra. Agent Mako. They are attacking the base of the Pink Monsoon Triad, stated a police officer. What? asked the five in unison, amazed by means of the recent statistics. Seems like it did not take them long to do it, stated Ramuru. I am a matter of mins. The five arrived with Asami Sadomobile at the scene of the crime, in which they discovered the identical scene as before. Namely a destroyed building with numerous wounded. Cora quickly got out, knelt down next to a man lying on the ground, and lifted his head barely. Are you okay? Asked Cora. The man let out a groan of ache as he opened his eyes slightly. The, the avatar? The person requested weakly. What happened right here? Who attacked you? Requested Cora hoping to get solutions. The, the horror. We have been many he became one. But monsters monsters, exclaimed the man earlier than collapsing in surrender. Ramuru walked over to him and put multiple fingers on his neck. He's nevertheless alive. He is simply subconscious, said Ramuru, to the relaxation of the others. It is high quality. This confirms about the attack among triads, stated Mako. But we nonetheless do not know who is responsible, stated Asami. I've an idea, started Ramuru drawing the eye of the others, in scale of strength. That's the most powerful triad that might be the creeping crystal triad, said Bolin. Wait. You watch Jargala has something to do with this? Requested Asami. I would locate that difficult to agree with. She may be the top of a triad, however, she's no longer the type to completely smash an area, stated Korra, remembering her alliance with that lady. Perhaps. However, I'm no longer just saying she's the wrongdoer, I'm announcing she will be the next target, said Ramuru. There. Maybe simplest one manner to discover, stated Mako. Shortly thereafter, the organization arrived at the base of the Creeping Crystal Triad, with guards guarding the principal front. They were given out of the vehicle and approached the doorway. We're right here to peer Jargala. Inform her the avatar wants to see her, stated Korra. The guards looked at every other and nodded to every other before one entered the bottom. It become a few minutes earlier than the protect who entered opened the door and stepped apart. A sign that they might pass. They were on foot through the halls, being led by the protect, until they reached a door which the guard opened, allowing the organization to go into an workplace in which a lady could be seen sitting in the back of a desk. Why? Bless your eyes, Avatar Cora. I constantly concept you'd be the last individual to visit me, stated Jargala with a grin. The thought is mutual, said Cora. Allows get all the way down to commercial enterprise. They've attacked the Anai Kai and Crimson Monsoon triads. Stated Mako. Attending to the point without delay. I love it. Regarding the attacks on the alternative triads, I recognize approximately it. Stated Jargala. And you're responsible? Requested Bolin. No. 
However, that doesn't suggest I'm towards it. In spite of everything, I'll have less opposition this manner. Stated Jargala Dot, aren't you definitely the only who's carrying out the one's attacks? Asked Ramuru a chunk suspiciously. Dot, no. And if it had been me attacking the triads, I wouldn't do any such dirty and detrimental job. Stated Jargala Dot for a few apparent cause. I assume you communicate the reality. Said Korra Dot, thank you. That comforts me. Said Jargala Dot, so. That could mean you are subsequent to be attacked. Said Ramuru Dot, ha. Allow them to attempt. They will be in for a good surprise. Stated Jargala Dot, you should not underestimate them. They have already wiped out triads. Said Asami Dot, because those had been weak. Started Jargala the usage of her earthbending to avoid a small green gem. I am no longer like them. Dot abruptly. They started to pay attention screams of panic and pain from out of doors. The workplace. Dot what? The hell goes unobtainable? Requested Jargala angrily. Dot in reaction. The door burst open as a person became shot into the office and impacted towards the desk, destroying it within the system. But, what? Requested Jargala in marvel and confusion, as did the others. It turned into then that Ramuru sensed something alarming. Look out! shouted Ramuru Speedy, grabbing everybody and pulling them out of the way. Simply as something entered the workplace from the ceiling, leaving a huge hole in the technique, and causing a curtain of smoke. Be why the point the smoke cleared, each person turned into stunned. Once they saw a creature that was made from a dark substance, with a pair of tentacles on its returned and numerous glowing balls in a row interior. A darkish spirit asked Korra in shock. The dark spirit grew to become its gaze toward them, and let loose a roar earlier than capturing its tentacles towards them. However, Mako reacted quickly and repelled the tentacles with a horizontal kick of fireplace. Quickly after, via the doorway of the workplace. Another dark spirit that looked like a lizard with a gecko mouth seemed at the same time as, emerging from the ground, a dark spirit inside the shape of a Trojan horse. Emerge. I do not know wherein the stuff came from, but they made a mistake coming here, stated Jargala earlier than stomping her foot, inflicting a row of stalagmites to emerge from the ground within the direction of the lizard darkish spirit. No, shouted Korra coping with to neutralize the assault along with her very own ground attack. Why did you do that? Asked Jargala. Do not kill the spirits. In case you do it'll affect your personal spirit. Stated Korra remembering what she found out approximately the authentic tale of Avatar Korik, who was hunting darkish spirits, and due to it ended up sick and death. So, how do you suggest we stop the ones things? Asked Jargala. Whatever we're going to do, we'd better do them fast. Said Bolin as the two darkish spirits prepared to assault them. If we can't kill it, we'll keep them off. Said Rimuru. There may be no different desire. Said Asami getting ready to combat. As did the others. Mako and Bolin stood close to the darkish spirit malicious program that lunged at them. Mako managed to stop it by way of growing a wall of fireplace, and Bolin took gain of that to create several stalagmites that crossed at the tip, enclosing the darkish spirit in an earthen cage. Asami and Jargala stood in the front of the lizard dark spirit that shot its tongue in the direction of Asami who managed to ward off it earlier than handling to seize it along with her electrified gauntlet, launching an electric shock that made the dark spirit scream in pain. Something that Jargala took gain of to shoot a few green gemstones at the spirit's legs, and the moment they touched the legs, they prolonged till they hooked into the ground, trapping the spirit. Korra shot a stream of water at the final darkish spirit, protecting its decreased body with water before freezing it, managing to entice its legs, However, its tentacles, being unfastened, reached toward her and might have hit her if Ramuru hadn't pulled out of nowhere a katana that she used to reduce the tentacles, making the spirit roar and ache. Earlier than he could maintain, Ramuru were given on pinnacle of him and punch him within the head, sending him crashing to the ground, knocking him down in the manner. Now, Korra stated Ramuru understanding what the avatar needed to do. Korra acted fast and used waterbending to create a pair of water ropes that swirled across the dark spirit dot with smooth actions, she made the ropes pass gracefully and skillfully, as the spirit glowed with a golden mild dot soon after, the spirit become bathed in a golden light, and when it dissipated, it found out itself to a small spirit dot after. That Korra did the equal to the alternative spirits, returning them to their unique pure shape dot cross in peace, stated Korra bowing as though in prayer dot oh, sure, I would forgotten she should do this, said Bolin dot so, is the entirety settled? asked Jargala dot it appears that manner, but I cannot figure out what multiple spirits are doing here, stated Mako dot I have never visible any since the magic convergence years ago, said Asami dot earlier than they could ask anything, 
They heard a groan, and seemed to the supply to discover that the first spirit Cora purified turned into waking up and looking on the avatar. Avatar, thank you so much for healing me, said the spirit. You're welcome. But why did you switch Darkish? Did something take place to piss you off? Requested Cora. Dotto. No, it was not anything like that. It became his fault, said the spirit. His? Asked Ramuru with an arched eyebrow. I by no means saw all of us like him. He wandered aimlessly through the spirit international, and wherever he went, the entirety became darkish and bloodless. I tried to break out, however he grabbed me, became me into what I was before, and forced me to obey him. I'm sorry for what I did, stated the spirit at the verge of tears. Do not sense off. Started Cora kneeling down in the front of the spirit. You stated it yourself. He made you do terrible things. You aren't guilty for something. Thanks. Stated the spirit. Can you tell us who it become that converted you? Requested Ramuru. Nicely. I do not know who it turned into. However, I will inform you that it became a human and a spirit. Oh, and he had a tentacle for an arm, said the spirit. Dot that made all and sundry within the room go huge eyed with horror, as they located that description without delay. Dot that description, it may best be him, stated Asami in horror. Dot of course, I need to have guessed that something like that could be his doing, stated Mako. Dot there may be absolute confidence about it said Bolin. Dot sure. Takuga is again, said Korra. Dot and it looks as if matters are going to get more complex, stated Rumuru. Dot again at the triple risk triad constructing. Takuga changed into sitting on a few type of throne with his eyes closed, as if he was meditating. Dot mmm. Looks as if the avatar has finished off multiple my pets. Irrespective of, started out Takuga rising from the throne to go searching the room, in which one of a kind glowing eyes can be visible most of the shadows. I bet it is time to degree up. Level up, requested one of the guys standing in that room alongside the others. However, sir, with the rest of the triads inside the country they're in, we've a hazard to rule the slums of the town. Yes. Now the triple risk triad is back on top, stated every other of the guys. You are incorrect, commenced Takuga, perplexing the others. This isn't always over yet. It might not be over until the avatar and her friends have fallen. May additionally. I remind you that the closing time you faced the avatar and her buddies, you ended up dropping and hiding inside the spirit global, said one of the guys. Dot within the subsequent instantaneous, Takuga grabbed the person's neck with his tentacle and pulled him towards him to appearance him in the eye. Dot you're right. However, in contrast to before, I'm now an awful lot more potent than before. Now, even the avatar might not be able to keep up with me, commenced Takuga as a darkish air of secrecy surrounded him, frightening the men. It is time to send the avatar my welcome present. Dot after what took place with the creeping crystals triad, the group avatar and Ramuru quick left within the course of the main triple danger triad base that Mako and Bolin knew approximately because of their beyond with them. Dot none of them could stop thinking about what they'd simply found. Dot that Takuga had lower back and for some purpose he should control the dark spirits. Dot I can't consider Takuga is lower back, said Bolin. Dot virtually, I continually idea he would nevertheless be alive somewhere within the spirit world, and could go back one day, said Korra. Dot if so, why didn't you pass seeking out him, requested Ramuru. Dot considering how huge the spirit world is, and that some spirits don't accept human beings, it'd make the quest very complicated, stated Korra. Dot but now he is returned, and it seems he desires to get returned what is triad lost, stated Mako. Dot no longer to mention he now seems to have a navy of darkish spirits. How is it that he can now manage them like soldiers? Requested Asami. Dot analysis. The darkish energy emitted by way of the darkish spirits possesses an energy signature coming from any other challenge, stated Raphael. Dot Takuga maximum probable became sturdy by some means, and his energy is what permits him to govern the spirits, said Ramuru. That made the others turn out to be involved for if Takuga changed into able to manipulate the dark spirits, it became that he had turn out to be more potent than last time. If so, we cannot waste time. We must forestall him, said Korra. If it is about getting again what is triad misplaced, then there may be only one vicinity to go, stated Mako. Step on the gas, Asami, said Bolin. You do not want to tell me, said Asami earlier than increasing the speed, making the Sadomobile go quicker. A quick time later, the group became halfway there, and that they deliberate to preserve going until warning, stated Raphael in alarm. Step on the brake, shouted Ramuru without delay, causing Asami to step on the brake, causing the Sadomobile to skid to a forestall. Simply as a dark spirit emerged from a building and stopped inside the center of the road. Wow. Thank you, Ramuru. Stated Asami. Do not provide them to me. Appearance. 
stated from Europe pointing upwards. Everybody became their gaze in that direction to look more darkish spirits, each at the rooftops and inside the streets, inflicting the populace to panic. There are extra of them, stated Bolin in shock. We need to do something. If we do not prevent them, there could be many sufferers, said Mako. They are not responsible. They are under Takuga's manage, said Korra. Which means, if we defeat him, the spirits will be purified, and everything could be solved, said Asami. Okay, here's the plan. You three live here and forestall the darkish spirits whilst Korra, and that I cross after the ringleader, said Rumuru with a plan in mind. Wait. Don't inform me you're making plans to take on Takuga on my own, stated Mako. You cannot try this. It is able to be dangerous, stated Asami. More dangerous may be letting the one's poor spirits preserve to go through, due to that man, began Korra earlier than grabbing Asami's hand together with her very own. Do not worry, I'll be exceptional, said Korra with a loving smile. And I'll make sure of it, stated Rumuru with a assured smile. Asami changed into still worried, but determined to believe her girlfriend. So she gave her a short kiss on the lips. Excellent luck, stated Asami earlier than getting out of the Seda mobile, as did the others. Wait, began Rumuru getting the eye of the three before Ranga stepped out of his shadow, as if he had called him mentally. Ranga, live with them and assist them as a whole lot as viable. Understood, sir, said Ranga earnestly. Hey, how do you propose to pressure? Korra's now not precisely the excellent driver in city, stated Mako. What's up? said Korra offended. I got this. Started Rumuru earlier than getting into the motive force's seat. I'm hoping I recollect how it was carried out. Nicely, one doesn't overlook a way to ride a motorbike, so this might be the equal. Rumuru started out the automobile. Most effective to have it go backwards some meters before preventing and giving them all an anxious smile. Sorry, wrong equipment, said Rumuru before shifting gears and using the car within the proper path. Will they be K? asked Asami with mild concern. Lord, Rumuru is together with her, not anything to fear approximately, said Ranga. Sincerely, there is one thing to worry about, said Bolin, referring to all of the dark spirits in the vicinity. We simply need to be cautious not to kill them stated Mako as he and the others went off to stop the dark spirits and save the people. Up ahead, Rumuru, with Korra in the passenger seat, persevered to pressure the Sadomobile through the streets toward their destination, even though he became having problem riding due to the vehicle lurching backward and forward for some time. Data. Are you sure you realize a way to drive it? Requested Cora really nervously. Nicely, higher than you I am doing. I don't boost up all of the time. Stated Rumuru. Analysis. Using is not the various competencies available. Stated Raphael. I recognize that. Idea Rumuru with a bead of sweat. What? How do you know that? Asked Cora surprised that he knew about the time she attempted using. Asami advised me the opposite day. Stated Rumuru with a smile. Cora let loose a pout in conjunction with a slight blush. I, I'm going to have to speak to her approximately that. Muttered Cora. Rumuru chuckled at the avatar's expression. So, how much longer till we get there? Asked Rumuru returning to the main subject matter. Now, not an awful lot. Turn left and three blocks ahead. Stated Cora. Accurate. Stated Rumuru earlier than steering the Sadomobile inside the route indicated. He in the end stopped the vehicle. Once they reached their destination. Losing no time, they were given out of the car and ran toward the building. But just as they were about to enter the door, numerous men got here jogging out of the building in panic. Even though one became grabbed by using the avatar who pulled him in front of her as she scowled at him. In which is Takuga? asked Korra. H. He's internal. He's completely insane. We have to break out even as we can. He's a monster, exclaimed the person breaking loose from the avatar's grip and going for walks away. Properly, as a minimum that saves us from having to deal with his lackeys, said Rumuru. The human lackeys you suggest, said. Cora understanding that they weren't the best members of the criminal a half spirits troops. With an expression of determination, they both entered the building, best to find the room a mess, as if a massive fight had befell. Ignoring the mess, they walked down the corridors to some big doorways. Caution. A topic of awesome power has been detected on the alternative facet, said Raphael. No doubt, approximately it. Notion Ramuru. Takuga is interior. I understand. We cannot lower back out now said Cora earnestly. Sharing a mutual nod, the two opened the door and entered the room, finding Takuga sitting patiently on his throne. Ah, Avatar Cora, I have been watching for you. Inform me, how is your expensive bride, Omitsado? Requested Takuga with a smile. Cora clenched her fists in anger, 
as she remembered that man kidnapping her lady friend, and almost killing her dot so, you should be Takuga proper, you are extraordinary from what I imagined, stated Rimuru dot and who are you, you do not look acquainted, said Takuga dot I'm, Rimuru tempest and that's all you may get out of me, said Rimuru dot well, it is now not like I was involved to recognize extra approximately you both, said Takuga dot there may be something I don't apprehend, how is it that you can manage those darkish spirits, requested Korra trying to know the truth dot properly, I bet there may be no damage in telling a touch tale. You spot, as you know, the spirit world is a reflection of the feelings, as well as the conduct and look of the spirits. Once I came to that international, the surroundings around me have become darkish and sinister, and the spirits would immediately rush to assault me, so I had no choice but to shield myself, said Takuga. So, did you kill the one spirits? asked Ramuru. Kill or be killed. It's the primordial law of nature, is not it? After surviving the combat, I felt vulnerable and no longer just from exhaustion, however, from something deeper. I felt it might be a count of time before I died, and that I wasn't inclined to do that. No longer earlier than I got my revenge on you, Avatar, your female friend in this whole rattling town. That is when I found it. Stated Takuga with a sinister smile. What did you locate? Asked Korra, sensing the solution would not be excellent at all. A wounded spirit. It become probable carried out to him by a larger, stronger spirit, or he had in twist a fate. I don't know. All I knew turned into that he changed into at my mercy. Stated Takuga. W. What did you do? Requested Korra with huge eyes. I ate him. Commenced Takuga, inflicting the avatar to let loose a huge gasp of horror. And when I did, I felt my power returning. From that second on, I began attacking spirits in order that I may want to devour them, and so I progressively regained my strength, till it have become greater than it was before. Dot is, that the way you managed to control the one's darkish spirits? Asked Rimuru. Dot there. Like wild animals. They want an alpha. So I had to show them that I'm their alpha, and they had to obey me. Stated Takuga. You are your a monster. Spirits are beings like us. How dare you do this to them? Requested Korra enraged at the man who had harmed the spirits. Beings like us. Have you forgotten that one and every of them did this to me? Asked Takuga angrily as he pointed his tentacle on the enormous half of his face. It is because of them that I'm no longer human. I'm now not even a spirit. So what does it count number if I'm a monster? Being a monster doesn't mean searching like one. It way appearing like one. And given your acts in the spirit world, you simply are a monster now, and I know approximately that. Stated Rimuru remembering all his monster pals, as well as a sure act he achieved to that human military dot who cares about your opinion. Now I've again and with my new electricity and my new army, I can triumph over this town and then the whole world. I can make absolutely everyone fear the call to Kuga. Said to Kuga dot I'm able to by no means permit that. I may not permit you to hold the usage of the spirits as tools. We're going to stop you here and now, declared Korra. Dot, is that so? Very well. But, in case you want to stop me, started Takuga earlier than several dark spirits, stuffed the room, and surrounded the avatar and the human slime. You'll need to get past them first. Dot, the metropolis changed into in chaos due to the darkish spirits that roamed anywhere, attacking everything in their course. Dot, many civilians and natural spirits, scurried away from the affected regions, even as the police and Lin treated them. Of path. They knew from the avatar, and their experience with them, that they weren't to be killed, or it would carry risky outcomes for the causer. In order that they had to do the entirety they might to maintain them back or take them down, which they'd succeeded with some by means of binding them with metallic ropes, or locking them in earthen traps and such. Meanwhile, on one street, Ranga could be seen strolling non-stop through the streets, beating any darkish spirits in his route with claws and fangs. Dotto and his returned had been the other members of Crew Avatar, who have been maintaining on with all their might, due to the high pace at which the Horn Wolf changed into going. The motive for this become that Mako counseled, going to help Lin and the police, so they might take care of the situation all collectively. But in the absence of an automobile, they had no preference, however, to trip the monstrous animal. Returning to Lin, she had simply taken down another dark spirit by means of crushing it below a wall of earth. However, then, a darkish spirit approached her from in the back of to strike her. However, a fireball hit it, inflicting it to scream in pain and recoil in time for a ring of lava to erupt around it, and encase the spirit in a cocoon of hardened lava. Quickly after, Ranga stopped and the others climbed down from him. I'm happy you got here, said Lin. How's the state of affairs, leader? Asked Mako. Not so proper. There are too a lot of those monsters at the unfastened, and we cannot keep up with them. 
stated Lin. Do not worry. Now that we are here, the state of affairs will get better, stated Bolin, pounding his fist along with his palm. Who's your buddy? requested Lin, pointing to the horn wolf. He's Ranga, a chum of Ramuru's. He left him with us to assist us, said a summy. At this factor, I receive any kind of help. By means of the way, where's Korra? asked Lin. She went with Ramuru to stop Takuga. They assume that in the event that they defeat him first, the darkish spirits will forestall and the scenario could be resolved, said Asami. But in the meantime, we ought to stop them to keep away from injury, stated Ranga, to Lin's surprise, as she hadn't expected him to speak. Right. Allows cross, all of us, stated Mako as all of them rushed into war. Mako turned into throwing fireballs at the darkish spirits, knocking them again, but a couple of them dodged the attacks, before lunging towards him to attack him. However Mako stepped aside to avoid them. He then launched a wave of fireplace that struck the darkish spirits, inflicting them to scream in pain, and before they could react once more, Lin seemed and threw a pair of metallic ropes that certain the two spirits. Bolin hit some spirits with pillars of earth, knocking them down in the technique, and others he cornered with pools of lava, before locking them in prisons of earth, and lava. A dark spirit tried to attack him. However Bolin moved to the side before throwing his lava shuriken, now not at the spirit, but at the lampus next to it which, when reduced by using the lava shuriken, landed at the spirit, beautiful it long enough for Bolin to throw a rock at it, that knocked it down. Asami moved nimbly to avoid the darkish spirit's assaults, and when she saw the possibility, she quickly approached it, and kicked it inside the face earlier than touching its chest with the electrified gauntlet giving it a shock that made it roar in pain earlier than falling subconscious. Another dark spirit approached her from the aspect, but Asami leapt over it, and at the same time as she become in the air, she kicked it in the back that knocked it to the floor, and before it could get up, Asami grabbed it by using the pinnacle, together with her electrified gauntlet. Surprising the spirit unconscious. Abruptly, something hit her from the facet, and sent her rolling on the ground, and when she raised her head, she changed into terrified, whilst she noticed a huge, ferocious darkish spirit preparing to complete her off, however before it may do so, Ranga pounced on it, and attacked it with claws and enamel until it subsequently defeated it. Thank you Ranga, said Asami with a smile and getting up from the ground. You are welcome, stated Ranga as he waved his tail in joy. I and the meantime Korra and Ramuru were in a comparable situation, as they fought the darkish spirits, that served as bodyguards for Takuga. Korra created a wall of earth to prevent the development of one dark spirit, earlier than launching a fireball, that knocked down another within. Explosion. While the first darkish spirit climbed the wall until it was on top, Korra knocked down the wall, and trapped the spirit below the rubble. Every other darkish spirit, rushed in the direction of her, but Korra used airbending to get it over her, before launching it toward any other incoming dark spirit, causing them both to fall earlier than the use of waterbending to entice them in ice. Raphael. Do you observed I'm able to kill those spirits without harming myself? Asked Ramuru. Analysis. The spirit of humans is broken after the demise of one, but I don't know the result on monsters or different non-humans, said Raphael. If so, I shouldn't danger it and keep them, much like Korra. Even though Ramuru. Shifting fast, Ramuru shot out numerous spider threads that stuck several of the darkish spirits attacking him, who were attempting to break free, but were unable to do so because of the power of the threads. Simply, as Korra had taken down the remaining dark spirit round her, she felt something last in on her speedy, and leaned lower back in time to steer clear of a shuangu that controlled to reduce a bit of her hair. Jumping backwards, she turned her gaze to the wielder of the weapon, who was none apart from Takuga. I was losing interest from status there looking a lot, so I decided to get a touch exercising, said Takuga. You are going down, Takuga. I recognize all of your hints, stated Korra remembering when they fought, each in human shape, and in his contemporary shape. It is possible, but the ones have been my antique hints. I amassed some new ones in my time without work duty, said Takuga before drawing near Korra at high pace together with his weapon on the prepared. However, Korra managed to avoid him. Quick, she created numerous icicles which she threw towards the spirit man, however, he speedy shattered them together with his tentacle before throwing it closer to her, coping with to seize her leg, and earlier than she could react. Takuga dispatched her crashing into the wall. Takuga smiled as he saw that he had hit the avatar earlier than he felt something coming towards him, and quickly grew to become round to dam a katana carried with the aid of Ramuru, together with his weapon. Each guns, 
driven in opposition to every other clashing sparks in the manner. You are skilled, I will come up with that, said Takuga. I do not need your flattery, said Rumuru earlier than the two stepped again and started a gun's duel. Notwithstanding Rumuru's velocity and energy, Takuga become proving to be same in both as he changed into capable of keep up with the human slime's abilities. He's greater professional than I concept. He need to have some starting. Notion Ramuru. Analysis. The right side is completely unprotected, said Raphael. Proper. And if he attempts to guard himself with his tentacle, I will simply reduce it off. Idea Ramuru. After every other clash of guns, Ramuru speedy, directed his weapon toward the right facet. But then, Takuga controlled to damn the katana with his tentacle which was included with metal scales, to Ramuru's surprise who quick subsidized away. As I stated, I've new hints that I accumulated thanks to the food I had, stated Takuga. So you've acquired a predator-like ability. Depending on what number of spirits it is gobbled, and what number of abilities they've, matters might be extra hard than we idea. Idea Ramuru earlier than noticing something that made him give the spirit man a smile. Well, you are now not the only one that has tricks up his sleeve. Takuga became burdened via that before a pillar popped out of the floor and hit him in the chest, sending him flying high, and before he ought to react, Korra, who had recovered from the preceding hit, created a twister with which she stuck Takuga and pushed him hard towards the floor, earlier than undoing the tornado. Korra and Ramuru, prepared to preserve preventing as they watched Takuga stand up from the floor with a mild groan. All right, time to get extreme. Said Takuga before he speedy headed toward the avatar. Korra moved speedy back and forth, no longer only to avoid his weapon slashes, however also his tentacle touches, as Takuga turned into adept at blocking humans Kai, nullifying the powers of the benders as nicely. Just as she dodged a cut from his weapon, Takuga moved his tentacle fast to supply a couple of brief blows to Korra's arm, disabling it as she groaned from it. Takuga became about to deliver every other blow, Till Ramuru stood in the front of him and kicked him in the chest, sending him backwards. Are you okay? Requested Ramuru. Yes. However, it's going to take me a while to get my arm lower back, said Korra. It will be sufficient, said Ramuru earlier than taking pictures a spider threat on the spirit guy who dodged it in time earlier than swinging his tentacle, thus launching several sharp scales. Korra used her loose arm to raise a wall of earth that included them from the scales. Ramuru rounded the wall and charged in the direction of the spirit guy who continued to shoot scales from his tentacle. However, Ramuru repelled them together with his katana, as he endured his advance. While he reached him, he attempted to shrink at him, but Takuga controlled to block it fast together with his weapon, and with agile moves, he used the hook of his weapon to grab the katana and pull it far away from Ramuru, who had to lower back up quickly to keep away from a vertical lower that could have literally split him in dot earlier than Takuga could assault again. Korra jumped over the wall and used metal bending to create a spiked ball and shoot it at Takuga with a kick, but the spirit guy dodged it quite simply. But that served as a distraction as Korra increased closer to him with airbending and hit him in the face with a fist wrapped in hearth. As Takuga bowed from the fiery punch, Ramuru stepped up behind him and introduced some other punch that sent him crashing into the wall. How's your arm now? Requested Ramuru. Korra controlled to raise her arm and clench her fist earlier than creating a flame of hearth in her hand. Better now. Stated Korra relieved to regain full mobility in her body. The two then became their gaze ahead to peer Takuga, rising from the ground with a groan. You would better surrender. You're outnumbered and outmatched in energy, said Ramuru. It's over, Takuga, said Korra. You assert it is over? Oh, dear. Takuga commenced earlier than raising his head to expose an expression of fury. This isn't always over yet, said Takuga earlier than a darkish charisma surrounded him. I have not proven you all my electricity but unexpectedly. Takuga's frame commenced to agreement, his clothes tearing as he underwent a metamorphosis of types. His tentacle cut up into three extra, his arm and legs became big and hairy with sharp claws on his arms, his again changed into full of sharp spines and a row of hair. A tail grew from behind, and resulted in two axe-like blades, and his head became like that of a beast, with two sharp horns, a mouth complete of tooth and his eyes had became completely black. Takuga, now transformed right into a full-fledged monster, let out a roar that could be heard even from out of doors, and far away. Pointless to say, Korra became completely horrified at what she become seeing, even as Ramuru wasn't entirely amazed, as this wasn't the primary opponent to tackle a giant shape. Warning. 
Tacuba's electricity has improved to nearly the equal amount as a demon lord, said Raphael. That is what I was scared of, however, that does not imply he is one. Idea Ramuru. Tacuba, what have you ever done to yourself? Requested Korra. This is the result of the energy I've accrued, a energy that surpasses any in this international, along with the avatars, stated Tacuba. Absolute. Confidence approximately it. You're insane, said Ramuru. What does it be counted? Once I kill you, the complete global will tremble earlier than the triple risk triad. No, it will tremble earlier than me, declared Takuga. It will be simplest in case you be triumphant, said Korra with determination. Precisely. It may not be as easy for you as you think, stated Ramuru, mainly when you consider that he turned into a mortal. Again outdoor. The other participants of Crew Avatar, Ranga and the police, had controlled to defeat half of the dark spirits, either through taking them down or trapping them. However there have been nonetheless some at the unfastened inside the city. They were approximately to maintain when suddenly, they heard a beast roar sounding from the space. A second, once they questioned what that was, they all have become fearful after they noticed the dark spirits on the unfastened grow wilder, and fiercer. What came about? Asked Bolin. It turned into that roar from earlier. It was like an order, said Ranga. That means that is what has made them act that way, stated Mako. Now not handy as that. I'm able to feel that the only who launched that roar has quite a few electricity, and it comes from the equal vicinity wherein Lord Ramuru is, said Ranga. What? Korra is with him. She might be in danger. Asami stated, thinking about going to help her. Asami. I'm concerned about Korra too. But now all we will do is trust them and believe them to attend to something goes on while we deal with the spirits right here, said Mako. Of path. Remember that they're very strong, said Bolin with a confident smile. Asami changed into nonetheless worried about her girlfriend. However, they had been right that the maximum vital element become to defend the humans. Besides, she turned into with Ramuru, who changed into sent to help her and that changed into enough to calm her down a bit. You're right. We cannot allow their efforts be in vain, said Asami. Now you're talking, stated Mako with a smile. If so, allow me act first, stated Ranga taking a couple of steps ahead. What are you going to do? Asked Bolin. I am going to take maximum of these matters down. I didn't need to do it earlier, but in view of the situation, there may be no desire. Said Ranga. The three human beings stood careworn at the horned wolf's phrases, questioning what he might do. All at once, a crimson charisma surrounded Ranga, and he let out a massive howl earlier than the sky changed into right away, blanketed with clouds. Earlier than all of us may want to say whatever, numerous tornadoes emerged from the cloudy sky and impacted the floor. Interestingly, all the tornadoes stayed in their positions, away from houses and in which human beings had been, affecting simplest, the darkish spirits who have been sucked into the tornadoes, and carried away with the aid of the wind currents. Pointless to say, the three human beings have been in shock at the powerful capacity of the horned wolf. I extraordinary, said Bolin in shock. I do not think even the avatar itself can do something like that, said Mako. If this is Ranga's strength, then Ramuru's energy could be even greater, stated Asami smiling internally, for if Ramuru become virtually effective, then her female friend would be safe. Takuga threw his tentacles towards them, who quickly moved to the side to keep away from them. But the tentacles were chasing them like snakes. Ramuru managed to block the pursuing tentacle, by using retrieving his katana to provide it a decrease that pressured it. Return. Korra persisted to keep away from the tentacle, till she attempted blocking it with a wall of earth. But the tentacle shattered the wall like gambling playing cards earlier than grabbing the avatar, and sending her crashing into the wall, more than one times earlier, than slamming her into the ground. Korra exclaimed Ramuru going to her side, finding her mendacity on the ground, and without losing any time, he pulled out a blue-colored potion from interior her. Right here, drink this. It's going to assist you regain your electricity. Trusting his phrase, Korra drank each closing drop of the potion, before she turned into included in a green aura, that magically healed her wounds to her amazement. Thanks, stated Korra with a small smile. Did you see it? Asked Takuga regaining the duo's attention. That turned into simply part of my new strength. You do not stand a threat. It really is not likely till established in any other case, stated Ramuru. You need evidence? Okay, I'll come up with evidence, said Takuga earlier than commencing his mouth, in which a sphere of black electricity turned into forming. The avatars and the human slime's eyes widened in horror, 
as they'd in concept of what he turned into going to do. A2D later, Takuga shot a huge beam of black electricity from his mouth that shattered the constructing absolutely, because the beam struck the building across the road. By the time the beam changed into over, Takuga peered round to peer not anything. However, debris and smoke. And right here ends the story of the avatar started Takuga, before he heard some things stirring inside the rubble, and turning his gaze to the factor of beginning. He noticed some type of blue-colored blob emerge from the rubble. What it really is whilst the blob, which become Ramuru in his slime shape, spat at Korra, who turned into without a scratch. I, I'm sorry if that sounded bizarre to you, but there has been no different way to escape that attack. Stated Ramuru. Korra sat at the floor as she shook her head. Ugh, no worries. I concept I saw a dark-skinned, flame-haired man in there, although, stated Korra. You started Takuga catching both in their attention. What the hell are you? Requested Takuga to the slime. My name become Ramuru Tempest, and I used to be sent through the spirits to prevent you Takuga, said Ramuru assuming the spirit man become the cause he become referred to as dot the spirits. Nicely, you watch yourself. As soon as I'm achieved with the avatar, I'll devour you, and your power will make me more potent than I'm now, said Takuga with a mad grin. Sorry. However, I am no longer at the menu these days, stated Ramuru before returning to his human shape as he and Korra stood. Up. The only thing this is going to happen is that we are able to defeat you, stated Korra critically and ultimate her eyes, and whilst she opened them, she found out that they have been sparkling with a white mild in a signal that she had entered the Avatar Nation. Needless to mention, Ramuru turned into surprise through this. Dot, so, it truly is the avatar state I used to be informed approximately. That's fantastic. Concept Ramuru. Analysis. The avatar's electricity has ascended to more tiers than earlier then, said Raphael. That suggests how powerful the avatar honestly is. Idea Ramuru. Ha ha ha. Best, if I kill you in that state, the avatar's cycle will stop, and the sector will be left without its hero and savior, said Takuga. Give it a try. If you can, said Korra in a voice that gave the impression of an echo. Takuga replied to that by way of charging toward them, as he roared. He raised his fist and attempted to spoil them. However, they moved out of the manor. Korra erected a pillar of earth that struck Takuga's aspect, pushing him apart for Ramuru to kick him that knocked him to the floor. Takuga quick, were given up and released his tentacles at them, like snakes. Understanding what they would do. The two, rather than walking, guided the tentacles to regions away from their master, and once they were given some distance sufficient away, Korra accumulated as a lot metal as she ought to to create a steel ring with which she cut two tentacles, even as Ramuru cut the 0.33, together with her katana dot that made Takuga scream in ache dot damn you, shouted Takuga earlier than taking pictures from his back, the thorns that fell at the vicinity like a rain dot Ramuru, turned lower back to his slime form too without difficulty, ward off the thorns, whilst Korra created a powerful air protect, that repelled them dot after, that Korra launched a powerful wave of fire that exploded upon effect towards Takuga, pushing him backwards. Takuga roared in rage before throwing his tail in the direction of her, but Ramuru blocked the tail blades along with her katana, before sending it again simply as Korra created a water tentacle, with which she hit the spirit guy, sending him backwards. I have had enough. I will ruin you all, exclaimed Takuga in fury before forming a sphere of black energy in his open mouth. That shot out inside the shape of beam. It changed into then that Ramuru stood in the front and created a vortex in his hand that wolfed the beam completely until it turned into over. Takuga was in surprise at how he had gotten rid of his strongest attack so easily, but that changed into enough for Korra to launch herself at him with airbending and punch him in the face that dispatched him crashing to the ground. Before he should arise, Ramuru protected him in spider threads, preventing him from being capable of pass from in which he was despite the fact that he changed into seeking to unfasten himself. Korra changed into approximately to release one remaining assault when. Wait, started Ramuru, causing the avatar to turn her gaze in the direction of him to peer him create a black flame in his hand, while the alternative launched black sparks. Allow me give you a small present, stated Ramuru with a grin, receiving a nod from the avatar. Dot combining each elements into one, Ramuru threw a black electric fireball at Korra, which Korra grabbed together with her naked palms, like a ball earlier than making it larger, all while Takuga stood by using and watched in horror. Dot before he ought to shout anything, Korra shot the electric fireball in the form of a lightning-protected flare, that impacted the spirit man, 
causing a big explosion accompanied via a mushroom of smoke. Cora came out of the Avatar country, and while the smoke cleared, Takuga changed into visible mendacity on the ground, along with his internet traps undone by means of the attack. Each she and Ramuru notion for a moment that it became over, but then they heard a groan, and as they looked over, they noticed Takuga struggling to his feet, as he groaned. You suspect you have received? I have never fallen, but you could try to lock me up but I'll escape, gather extra power and finish you all off, exclaimed Takuga. You're proper about one thing, there's no way to fasten you up with the strength you have got, but with a view to soon exchange, began Ramuru earlier than drawing near him as he converted into his slime shape, you understand, in which I come from, there may be a pronouncing, do not do unto others what you do not want performed to you, and on account that you like to devour spirits before, everybody may want to say something, Ramuru unfold out like a cloak and protected Takuga who stood there screaming before being absolutely engulfed, by using the slime that maintained a size large than Takuga, earlier than returning to his everyday size. Raphael, proceed. Thought Ramuru. Evaluation. Starting off separation procedure, stated Raphael. Cora, who were bowled over with the aid of what she had simply visible, approached the slime with a nervous look on her face. Did you? Did you kill it? Requested Cora. Huh? Oh, no. Relax. I didn't do anything to him, stated Ramuru, seeking to reassure the avatar. Caution. Separation procedure terminated, said Raphael. Listening to that, Ramuru spat Takuga out. However, lots to Cora's wonder. He now not had his giant shape. I in reality, he now not had any tentacles or something giant. Takuga become returned to his human form. W what did you do to him? Asked Korra in entire wonder. I sincerely separated his spirit form from his human shape and then eliminated it. Now he's nothing extra than the human he used to be before, so there won't be any problem locking him up, stated Ramuru. Korra smiled earlier than taking the slime in her fingers and raising him to her height. Thank you very a good deal, Lord Ramuru. Not best for that, however also for saving me in advance, stated Korra before giving the slime a small kiss. W properly. It turned into the least I should do for a friend, stated Ramuru blushing as Korra chuckled gently. Have do we move help the others? Requested Korra considering her girlfriend and buddies. Ramuru jumped out of the avatar's palms to return to his human form. I would not fear. With Takuga defeated and his spirit powers removed, the situation will already be resolved, stated Ramuru with a grin. Again with the others, thanks to Ranga's effective climatic assault, they managed to defeat maximum of the darkish spirits there leaving only some dot all of them prepared to fight when suddenly all of the darkish spirits, each those that remained and people that have been defeated and imprisoned glowed with a golden mild and while it dissipated cuter, friendlier and much less terrifying styles of the spirits were visible. Dot, huh? What happened? Asked Bolan in confusion. Dot, Ranga, did they? Requested Asami having an idea of what had passed off. Dot, yes, I'm able to experience it. Takuga's energy he had over the one spirits is gone, said Ranga. Dot, because of this that they've controlled to defeat him, and with his defeat, the darkish spirits have been capable of purify themselves with the aid of doing away with Takuga's control, stated Mako. You were proper, Ranga. With Ramuru, Korra turned into able to do it, stated Asami with a grin as she petted the horned wolf. I know, stated Ranga as he enjoyed the engineers petting. Quickly after they defeated Takuga and took away his powers, Korra and Ramuru, who turned into wearing the criminal, who became nonetheless subconscious on his shoulder, decided to head take a look at on the others. From the quietness round them, they found out that, by using defeating Takuga, the dark spirits had been purified, and the war was over. Quickly after, they caught a glimpse of something from a distance, and immediately diagnosed it. Asami, exclaimed Korra as she ran in the direction of her lady friend. Korra, exclaimed Asami as she ran in the direction of her female friend. When the two met, they gave each different a tight hug followed by a kiss at the lips. I'm happy you are okay, said Asami. He, did you doubt it? I am quality and it's all way to him, stated Korra pointing on the human slime. Thank you for assisting her, Lord Ramuru, said Asami. Oh, no need to thank me. I simply did what each person else could have done, stated Ramuru with a grin. Just then, Ranga, Mako, and Bolan arrived at the scene, with Ranga attending to lick Ramuru before he pushed him away. Man. You by no means instructed us your friend was so sturdy, stated Bolin. Actually, requested Cora. Sure. He made a gaggle of tornadoes form an assault, best the dark spirits, without affecting anything else, stated Bolin. No. 
Offense, Cora, but even you couldn't do such a issue. Stated Asami. I take no offense. Stated Cora, wishing internally that she ought to have witnessed something like that. It was then that Mako noticed something, or rather, a person. Wait, is not that? Requested Mako, pointing to the person wearing Ramuru over his shoulder. Sure. Started Ramuru earlier than placing Takuga down at the ground. That is Takuga. Wait. What happened to his complete non-secular monster side? Requested Bolin remembering what he looked like before he disappeared. Ramuru devoured him, and reputedly took away his non-secular facet which he then removed. Stated Korra recounting what had took place on the give up of the combat. What? You absolutely did that? Asked Bolin in surprise. Well, it is now not difficult in any respect for someone like me. Said Ramuru. At the least, that manner, it will be less difficult to address him. Stated Mako. So, is it over? Requested Bolin. No longer quite. Something could must be completed about all this mess. Said Ramuru, referring to the wreckage resulting from the fight in opposition to the Dark Spirits. That's what we'll take care of. Everyone seen directly beforehand. To see a spirit plant. We're going to contend with solving the damage seeing that we were those who brought on it. Stated the spirit. It wasn't your fault. You had been being manipulated. Stated Cora. I realize, and that is why we need that will help you. As a token of thank you for liberating us from the manipulate of that evil being. Said the spirit. Properly. If you want to help with the upkeep, it really is first rate with me. Stated Asami with a grin. So, for the rest of the day, group avatar, Ramuru, Ranga, the police, civilians and spirits, had been busy repairing the damage. Because of the fight. Even Ramuru gave a few recommendations that might enhance the structure of a few buildings. By the time evening came, most of the wreckage changed into repaired, leaving some that would be constant day after today. While Mako and Bolin went home to rest, Korra, Asami, and Ramuru went to the Sato Mansion. At that second, Ramuru, in his slime shape, was inside the lawn in the middle of the night. Gazing on the starry sky in addition to the column of mild that represented the religious portal to Republic Town. He began to reflect on consideration on the cause he came to that world, and it become to clear up a trouble that the Avatar could not clear up on his very own, and given what had occurred earlier than with Takuga. He could surmise that he turned into the risk Iroh turned into speak about Dodd and O.W. With Takuga defeated, he simply needed to assume that his project in that world turned into over so he could need to go back to his very own dot even. Though he knew that point would come, he felt a touch sad that he could need to leave his new friends behind. You do not want to hide. I recognize you're there. Stated Ramuru. Quickly after Korra arrived and sat down subsequent to him. I bet slimes don't want to sleep both, do they? Asked Korra. No. Despite the fact that I as soon as requested them to make a few tablets that would allow me to dream just like the others, however, once I attempted them, I determined to ban them. Stated Ramuru. Why? What was it like? Asked Korra apparently. A nightmare. Stated Ramuru making Korra burst out guffawing at what he said. Even Ramuru laughed a little at that. It changed into then that Ramuru remembered something essential. He a Korra, I've something to mention. Said Ramuru. Yeah? What is it? Requested Korra. Do you take into account the reason I got here to this international? Asked Ramuru. Sure. It became because Iroh asked you to help me combat a danger that commenced Korra earlier than figuring out, wherein the communique changed into going. Wait, are you saying that yes? I consider Takuga was that threat. Now that he is defeated and locked up indefinitely, I will have to go again to my international. Stated Ramuru. Korra felt a touch unhappy to have to say goodbye to him. However she knew it had to take place. Properly. I cannot pressure you to stay here. In spite of everything, you're the leader of a state. Your human beings will really need you. Stated Korra with a smile. I know, but I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't pass over this metropolis, and all and sundry I met. Stated Ramuru before Korra picked him up and put him on her lap. What do you are saying we live right here for some time and revel in the view? Requested Korra. Feels like a superb concept to me. Stated Ramuru. For a very good while. The avatar and the slime sat there searching up at the starry sky, illuminated by using the mild from the spirit portal, even as enjoying the enjoyable moment with each other, for day after today would be the appointed day. The following morning, Ramuru stood on the front of the town's spirit portal, with the crew avatar in the back of him, as they wanted to bid farewell to the one who had helped them deal with the chance of Takuga, and his army of dark spirits. It turned into an honor to meet you. Lord Ramuru, said Asami shaking his hand with hers. Thanks, 
and I desire your task can be finished sooner or later, stated Ramuru Dodd and when it does, it will help a variety of human beings, said Asami with a smile. Hi, there, Bolin, could you thoughts telling President Julie that I will go to her someday? asked Ramuru. Uh, yeah, why? asked Bolin. Well, I think it might be appropriate for every person if Republic City mounted ties with Ramuru City, said Ramuru. Oh, certain. That could be awesome. Do not worry, I will let her know, and I am sure she'll be looking ahead to the day you come said Bolin with an excited smile. I'll be searching ahead to it too, said Rumuru. Even though you're not from this world, you are helped us a lot, stated Mako shaking fingers with the human slime. Well, you've got help too. You're an awesome cop, no doubt, stated Rumuru. Thank you, said Mako with a grin. You have sincerely helped us loads. We are able to be for all time thankful to you said Cora bowing in appreciate. That is what you do for buddies, proper, requested Ramuru bringing a smile to the avatar's face earlier than extending his hand toward her. Take properly care of yourself, Cora. I am positive if you hold operating hard, you may become the most powerful avatar of all. Cora, become a touch surprised by the compliment earlier than she smiled and shook his hand together with her own. After that, Ramuru approached the portal and converted into his slime form as Ranga stepped out of his shadow inflicting him to land on his lower back. Ranga, let's cross home, stated Ramuru. Yes, said Ranga earlier than launching himself via the spirit portal, leaving crew avatar behind. Cora, stored a smile on her face for even though they'd stated their goodbyes, she felt they might see each other again in the future. Asami, walked over to her, and linked her hand with hers. We will without a doubt pass over him, said Asami. Yeah, you already know? It makes me wonder what might occur if he and Ong met, said Korra. I am positive they would get along, said Asami. Me too, Asami. Me too, said Korra. Ended.